All right. I'm here. I'm here. The league is today, if I'm not mistaken. It is Thursday. The league play is today. So, I'll be sitting right here chilling until it starts and they call my number. <laughs> One second, let me see if I can find the check in. I'm always bad with check ins. I don't really freak the there it is <laughs> found it I think I did the right thing try to do the right thing try not to be the exception to the rule but the person that's following the rules trying to follow the rules <laughs>
Yeah, baby. Um, can I tell you about school? What's up? So like yesterday, like a boy called me a drama queen. So I didn't, I didn't say nothing to him. He just called me a drama queen, and then, uh, and then, um, and then today, uh, three boys like, like, uh, like acting like I wasn't, I wasn't here or anything. I wasn't here or anything. Like they act like you wasn't here. Yeah, they said maybe she moved, and then, um. And then uh, we was in the lunch room. He said we all going to the same place. I I asked I asked one of the lunch teachers, name is Garcia, and then uh, to the shorter one. And then they wanna and they wanna say uh, we said foods, and I said we 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 all in the same place, right? All the great is the same um, place. Uh huh. And then that's it. Okay, well, it'll be all right, baby. Don't worry. Some people are gonna talk, but it'll be okay. Okay. All right. Oh, <gasps> get out of the coins, please, please, please. Oh my goodness. Please. You can. I'll tell you what. You can have some of them if you pick them all up. Okay. I will. Pick them all up and put them put them right there next to my computer, and then you can have some coins. Okay. You can't have all of them. Oh, that's it. What you got your grade at now? Mm-hmm. Much better. In two days. Much better. That's uh. And I still have zeros in the grade book right now. I just gotta finish doing more assignments, and it's gonna be higher. All right. Well, that's you can show that to mom, but I probably might want to wait till you're at 80 at least, so she won't be tripping. We're only two points away from an 80. <laughs> I know, I know, but you know. I'm just letting you know what it looks like. It looks much better, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, she's still going to be like, it ain't good enough, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, that's a whole 61 points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, I done, I done tripled it. I know. If it was money, it would be good. But <laughs> it's not money, it's a grade. And you're supposed to have all A's. All A's. College. Well, you know, all A's ain't going to work all the time. <laughs> It's not, but that's why I said at least the 80. Because I want to turn around now. I definitely don't have a lot of Well. Because if she go back and she look at my other grades other than the one that she's paying for, she definitely not going to be happy. Well. I would suggest that you, uh not show her that yeah oh what the heck just happened AP class. Is it 74? 
AP World History. Oh, yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to <laughs> get any bad grades, you know what I'm saying? She's going to be on you. The rest of my classes, I have 100 in art, 91 in um, English 2 honors, 99 in AVID 2, 99 in Algebra 2 honors, and then a 74 in AP World History. All right. I'm telling you, if you get them spelling grades, man, she, she's going to be on, she's going to be on you. Bro, at the starting of the week, I had a 63 in her class, but I brought it up. <laughs> 11 points. Good. And that's only because I literally, I literally get bad grades in her class. Like, I have no zeros in grade book. I just suck at her class. I don't understand it. You want the history? Yeah. I literally have a 30 in her grade book. <laughs> I have a 30 on one of her assignments. Mm. So my major grades, I have an 87 and a 70. And my quiz, I have a 62. And in my daily grades, 92, 95, 60, 30. So these 90s, they're holding me. Yeah, you might want to get a few more 90s. <laughs> you might want to get some more holders. They're set in my booty right now. What up, Joe from the joint? I just straight up suck at history. And then I have to take a dual credit history class next year I'm gonna die they're gonna kill me dual credit is college role I'm not gonna have a teacher I'm gonna have a professor professor? a professor and I can guarantee it right now I'm not gonna pass that class with an A at best a 74 you better be focused <laughs> that's not gonna help me I don't understand the material you gotta, I can focus all I want. You gotta focus until you understand. I can focus all I want. You gotta it, get. What it I depends need. on how much I can hold in my brain and remember. Oh. I can't remember things that I didn't live through. That's yeah. the issue. Yeah, you have to repeat it. You gotta repeat it in your mind. Flashcards. <laughs> what is a flashcard gonna do? It's gonna help you remember. I didn't live through it. I struggle with things that I lived through too. You yeah. asked me a question about COVID nineteen. I don't know, man. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> get out of here. Get, get out of here. All I know is that it started in twenty twenty. Get out of here. Live through COVID and don't know shit. All right, bye. I don't know. Uh, what time you fight? I hit at eight. What you talking about, lazy? You hit at eight or I hit at eight. Um, you fighting at eight? Um, I don't, I don't know what time I'll fight, bro. It just, you know, it just depends on, you know, the pacing of the fights and the commentary and the talking and all that stuff. It's not going to be at a certain time. Uh, I'm, I'll be fighting around. Uh, I don't even know where the fuck my phone is. Oh, here it is. Pocket. I'm going to be fight number... Let me look real quick. Yeah, I'm fight number eight. 
I guess I'm fighting number eight. Yeah, I'll be one of the last fights. <laughs> Eight PM. Yeah, so I got I got a long ways to wait. Got <laughs> a long, long ways. What up, Kush? Just waiting for the fight. Looking forward to Slayer versus Zay. Yeah, yeah. Zay been wanting Zay been wanting Slayer all week, bro. He, Zay Zay been wanting Slayer for shit. Not all week, but Zay been calling Slayer out for a while, bro. <laughs> hey, what's what's up, Brins? What's up, Brins? Did they fix the desync yet? <laughs> the Silent Viking, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, unfortunately, the Silent Viking, this game is exactly where it was when the last time I saw you. Exactly. Nothing has changed. Yeah. <laughs> Brins, what's up, Brins? Uh, yes, there's way too many cheaters. You're absolutely right. So I don't even I don't even play ranked anymore. I just uh, I just play um, against viewers. I try to play against people that you know want to have integrity. I play against the viewers. I play in league league play, and that's about it. I don't do online ranked. That's that's not fun. <laughs> Disney speed racing game will have ranked it won't lag for you but if another person lags it on them and they disconnect from the race it's like Mario Kart but better I uh, yes uh, friends I did see it um, I think you're talking about the uh, the RAM the memory issues um, but I, I saw the message, but I didn't click on the video yet. I haven't watched it. There's not only the RAMs, it also helps with latency. So you're talking about um, 
internet latency? You're talking about internet speed? Okay, okay. Um, I got 16 gigabytes, but I'm going to I'm going to buy another set so I have 32. What baby? <laughs> oh yeah. That's funny. Look the tail. They they had tails and what had a fog with a king. Mm -hmm. I'm a king frogger, yeah. Yeah, look. <laughs> My dad is a queen now. He had the frog. Everybody put the frog in the group chat. <laughs> Woo! Froggy. Get out of here, girl. Go eat your food. Okay, I'm <laughs> I, I saw your YT tell me Battlefield 4 or... Or... 2042 what is what is I saw your YT tell me what is that YT also your YouTube tell me um uh, me personally bro I like I like 2042 bro I, I love 2042 but there's a lot of people that hate 2042, man. But I'm a big 2042 fan. Big, big 2042 fan. I fuck shit up. I don't really get in the helicopters or the tanks or anything like that. I'm strictly infantry. But, y'all, I fuck shit up in 2042. I fuck shit up, bro. I be trying to go for like 60 and 80 kills. I've been trying to break 100 for a long time. Uh, well, long story short, Brands, why people hate 2042 is because they went to a hero system. They, they came out with the heroes, the different characters, and people didn't want heroes. They wanted class system. They wanted, you know, assault, support, uh fucking snipers and that they didn't want to see heroes they wanted just they didn't want just soldiers that's what that's what pissed people off about 2042 is they went to a hero system instead of instead of always being a soldier system but i like the heroes yeah they want they want the game to continue to stay old they didn't want it they didn't want the new ideas Outside, it's 80 degrees. Yeah, man. Alright. So, that's all because of all stuff is here. I feel. He <laughs> said, so You play other days in classic Call of Duty maps.
Chestness update. The queen is OP. Thought the queen was supposed to be OP. Chat. Put it down. Put it down right there. I want the goo chat see. Little girl, put it down. All right. You got your wood of frog week. Thank you. You're Tell me you steal. Are y'all actually talking about chess? I thought like it was y'all were talking about like I don't know some chess with a twist or something like a totally different style chess I was thinking. <laughs> nah, you don't need no good luck, Zay. Zay, you've been call you've been calling out Slayer. You've been calling out Slayer for weeks, bro. Two, three weeks. You was calling out Slayer before the league even started. You don't need no luck. Go do what you supposed to do. Go handle your business. That's what the league play is all about. You say you wanted them. He can't run. He can't run. You had all week, all season to get ready for him. He got to show up. He got to fight you. That's what the league play is for. It's for... It's for... It's got get back put in that thing. Get back put in it. So you got your chance right now. You got two chances in season, uh, Zay. And then if you don't get them in the two chances in season, uh, make the playoffs. And then, you know, you could knock them out of the playoffs maybe. Or he'll get knocked off before you even get there. Maybe you could win. 
You could win the championship. Discount double check belt. You could win. You just never know. But that's what the league play is all about. It's all about knocking somebody off. <laughs> but if they do an update in 300 years it'll be the ultimate boxing game the ultimate eSport guess what you don't even need a controller anymore you just get inside of virtual reality and get knocked out virtually uh oh MBK is up and running up and running. Let's see what we got. Alright, the fighters are ready. Eight kicks. <laughs> the fighters are ready, so uh yeah, let's get to it. We'll be right back. Man, I'm really enjoying having this third monitor, man. Now I can I can uh look at Discord and uh fight at the same time. I can I can look at Discord and and the stream and fight or I can look at, you know, the uh the MBK League, the stream and fight. This third monitor is awesome. I might need four of them motherfuckers so I can see the Discord. <laughs> so I can see the Discord, the MBK League, my game, and the stream. Shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, while uh, the, the fighters are coming in, just going to explain the rules real quick. Six rounds, 1.0 relative time, 180 seconds round left, 1.5 damage modifier, no knockdown rule, 1.5 head stamina modifier, no save by the bell, no mirror matches. And um oh yeah. Hey y'all, I've been I've been working on my on my damn fuck, let me pull it up. I've been I've been working on my merch, man. I've been working on, on the merch. I got a little bit more. I got I got more merch ideas to go. The merch is like it's man, you gotta put a lot of time into like putting together the designs and shit, trying to make it look cool. <laughs> Uh, but I got a little something going and I'll put more and more designs together as I go um, but here we go let me see if I can get that that merch uh, thing up here I'm gonna put more and more designs together it's gonna be awesome man I'm over here talking my boy Dre got me handicapped on the mic I was Joe Joe from the yarn man get your buddy in here man give us some love from the Philly on the mic be a third man Help my boy Dre out. I'm gonna be bouncing back and forth between commentating and doing things on the back end, making sure things smooth, so run as smooth as possible. Um, we can get anybody else want to hop on the mic tonight. You're more than welcome. Just hit me up. We'll get you in on here. All right, I'm pull. I'm pulling it up right now. See if I can get the. All the lights already starting off in the pocket between both fighters. I'm telling you, this bad blood here. Both have something to prove. Uh, Okay, here we go. More proof than, than Slayer. Slayer, you know, knows it was ended in a controversial way. Bam. There goes some of the some of the new stuff. I even got the the BZ flip flops, baby. The premium, the premium flip flops, homie. <laughs> I got the premium flip flops. Quit playing with me. I got the beanie. I got the hat. What's up, little fro? La Afro. Uh, starting off their season right, they both have two wins. Um, Slayer is got two fights tonight, two chances to put his chilling, bro. Hell yeah. Uh, see which Yo, the league uh, plays going on right now. La Afro. Uh, I'm kind of watching it, and I'm 
trying to stay fresh at the same time. That's who. You, that's the other. Uh, right there. That's the other. Uh, that's what I'm watching right now. The NBK League. I'm gonna be one of the last fights. I'll be one of the last fights on the NBK League. At least until Steel City optimizes the game a little bit better. But uh, interesting choice by both fighters here with uh, Zayed seemed to let Usyk slide through the through the um, through the cracks here. A lot of people like to ban Usyk, but uh, Joe Joe Lewis is not some one to be slept on. Both fighters doing a really good job exchanging, digging the gut. Huh. Man, they got something to prove here, man. There's no no love here for either fighter. Always oh nasty nasty counter left hook out of Zayed. Zayed, I'm gonna need you to change your name down there, bro. I keep wanting to call you Trump. I can't do it, man. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Sly Hoop for the follow. Appreciate the follow. Um, if anyone has been uh, aren't in our Discord, um, we got a lot of stuff going. All right, so who is your favorite in the game, bro? Um, my favorite, my favorite fighter in the game, bro. Uh, I think. Oh, well, for one, I, I think, I think uh, Roy Jones is the best fighter in the game, but my favorite fighter. Damn, let me try. I don't know, bro. The bet, my favorite fighter, bro. I that's hard to say, bro. I th I think the best fighter is Roy Jones, and my favorite fighter is probably. It, it, nah, it, it's actually going to be between uh, Ryan Garcia or Linares. Ryan Garcia or Linares. And the only... The, I think I like Ryan Garcia the most, but Linares... Um, Linares is like OP as fuck, bro. Yeah, I like... And, and really, really honestly, bro, I can tell you what. When they patch the game, when the game gets patched... Terrence Bud Crawford will be my favorite fighter. I can tell you right now, when when they let stance switching come into the game, Bud Crawford will be the fight. Will be my main fighter. Bud Crawford. I'm gonna put it to you like that. Terrence Bud Crawford will be the main dude that I use. If he's not banned or whatever, but yeah, I like Bud Crawford. I think I think I like Terrence Bud Terrence Bud Crawford, Ricky Haddon, and and then Garcia, Garcia last. That's in that order. I like Bud Crawford, Bud Crawford. I like uh, Ricky Haddon and then Garcia. And I like, I like, Uh, 
down an uppercut. Boy, Zaya, you got to protect that gut a little more. Uh, players seeing the opening he's leaving for and, and, pun and penalizing him for it. to the feelings, bro. Ooh. If we didn't have them feelings, uh, this card could have been disastrous today. Don't okay, need to see a knockdown. We don't get to see a knockdown. You, you expect to see a knockdown? Man, we ain't, we ain't, we, I expect to see one by now, especially when these boys are getting in there slugging and banging. Uh, thus far, nobody's even got blocked yet, so both parties do a really good job of managing their, their Surprisingly, possibly go the long haul. Depends on if any fighter. I think uh, we'll see a, a strategy change once these get predicted cards come up. Uh, I'm, I'm Ooh, still oh, he's saying that a nasty counter left hook stuns. Slayer Zaya. slaying on his back foot up against the ropes. Zaya trying to finish him off, but Slayer doing a good job thus far surviving. Good job by Slayer surviving, and I think he was caught off guard with that rock. He didn't expect that one at all. I told you, man, we speak it, it happens, happens, my guy. <laughs> Zaya's got to continue to just play his game like <laughs> he's doing. We know it's being effective because he's already got a rock out of it. Don't change anything you're doing. Keep so who who is the food guy? Slayers two and zero record. One of the very few who still are two and zero on the line right now, going against a uh, early rival in the season. Zaya. Who counts as that 2 0 record? Zaya trying to, to uh, scratch away a blemish on his record and even the score here today. Ooh. Oh, as we said, it's about Zaya has been stunned by a counter left hook from Slayer. Slayer. See if he can survive this time. Both mm. Unfortunately, goes down with a body shot. Slayer. Slayer, go ask Slayer. Ask Slayer. Man, it felt like it was in the air. We must have said that. that we had to speak that into existence. And DZ called it. He was like, yo, I knew one for sure. This is. You know what? As a matter of fact, Slayer and Chopper are the only current 2 and 0 fighters within the league. Right now, Chocolate's on the fence. Don't know what he's going. He may be going to rush to the, to, to the army here pretty soon. God bless his soul. But, uh, so that would leave currently Slayer being the only 2 and 0 fighter. Zayat trying to do what he can to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, it looks like Slayer's going to try to protect this round and not doing a punch. Kind of trying to back up. But, uh, Zayat's going to have to, it's going to have to be a little bit aggressive. You know he's can stun slay. He's done it already. You know that's, that side of his face is weak, so he's gonna have to attack it without being attacked. Yeah, that rush is up. Oh yeah, especially with what's going on now. I mean, I don't want to dabble too much into it, but now is not the right time to go into the army. Slayers up two to one. Uh, that's a good uh, I didn't count the graphic, but yes, yeah, Slayers up 29 to 27, two, two rounds to one over over Zayat. I'd love to see uh, Zayat be a little bit more aggressive in this round. It is 29 27 point after that 10 8 round. Zayat leading even the score with his own knockdown. Thursday, two days late, but I'm eating some tacos, my guy. Taco Thursday today. In the third house. Mm. Uh, give me some pizza. Yeah, I gotta get 
did something. I just literally walked in the door before we hit that live button, boys. Dedication is on point today. Oh, big shout out to Goosey with the help. Goosey helped out a lot today. Big shout out to him. And we, we got in contact with all the fighters. We uh, noticed that there was something that could be done regarding chocolate, so we really didn't have to say shout out to Goosey. does not want to go down to to have two L's on his record for Slayer. You know, that's going to be a lot of trash talking right there. Yeah, <laughs> stamina emote. Yo, what does stamina look like, bro? What would a stamina emote look like? Just a white bar? Just a, like a big-ass white line? It looks like a, a white line of Coke. <laughs> that's, that's what stamina looks like, the Coke line. Yeah, it's over with, bro. He doesn't, uh... All right, hey guys, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get on the mic for um, for the MBK promotions. So uh, y'all wanna y'all wanna uh, listen to me? Uh, I mean, you can listen to me here or there. <laughs> I guess I'm about to get on the mic. Uh, so I'm gonna try to beat this guy up real quick, and then I'm gonna get on the mic. <laughs> so you'll be asleep soon. I'm gonna put you to sleep, Goosey. I'm gonna put you to sleep. Is that a question or are you Just listen to my voice. That's a knockout, so. Two arrows. Two slayer. It's gonna be a lot of trash talking between them two. I know Zaya was looking forward to this match, but unfortunately, not get the pick. Uh, shout out to Slayer. Good pick. Good fight, boys. Uh, slayer just not letting it go the distance. All right, I'm finna go do it. I'm gonna let this dude. <laughs> I just beat him up in the body, like spammed him to death, but then I'm gonna leave. <laughs> He's like, another dude's like, this dude just body spammed the shit out of me. I body spammed him, and then I'm gonna leave. I'm not. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go talk. All right, let's go, let's go to the MBK. Let me uh, turn the game off real quick because it's making my computer all laggy. And um, let me hurry up and get in here and talk to these guys. I think they should give give them a break. Um, Slayer has team Discord. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I'm going in there right now. Let that man get a break. Oh, he says he's ready. Then shit, let him go. I need to pull me up in there. All 
right, what's up, guys? Easy, what's up, buddy? Shit, I'm chilling, man. I was in, I was, you know, kind kind of practicing, but uh, I was getting ready, <laughs> just trying to get the juices flowing. I don't want. I know people watch the stream, so I wasn't uh, trying to show out exactly what my strategy was gonna be, but. Uh, mm -hmm. I was just trying to stay stay a little sharp, but uh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say let's let let Slayer get his break, but he says he's ready to go. Let that man fight. Let him fight his shit. That man. Go. Let's see if he get four and zero. Let's see if he get four and zero. Who's he? Who's he got? Oh, oh, it's gonna be a tough one. Oh, middleweight. Yeah, yeah. This gonna be a fight. This gonna be a real fight. It might be. This might be his hardest fight yet. Oh, definitely. If if good old Greg has been paying attention to me and how you supposed to be the Canelo, he should win this fight easily. Canelo's not not hard to figure out. What is what is? What is what, oh shit! They ready? I'm switching. Wilson. I'll introduce Beasley. All right, go read the All right, well, well we're good to go. Slay and good old Greg is ready. They're up next. Once again, the rules are six rounds, one point zero relative time, one hundred eighty seconds round left. 1.5 damage modifier, no knockdown rule, 1.5 stamina modifier, no save by the bell, no mirror matches, highest C bands first, lowest C pick first. Uh, we got the polar bear with the red hair to commentate over Canelo Alvarez. What's good, BZ? Hey, what's up, fight fans? You can't, you, what is it? What does it say, fight fans? You can't catch Moby Dick with a stick. I <laughs> so uh this is this is the uh the league's Moby Dick right now. Slayer, go ask Slayer. Let's see if good old Greg can beat him with a stick. <laughs> Slayer now three and zero after that victory over Zayat, his friendly rival. He's gonna come in here trying to go four and zero in our league, but a very very tough fight in front of him. Going against one of our own MBK. Good old Greg. Definitely, definitely not a uh, fighter you want to sleep on. So this should be, should be a very good fight. Should be a good. Uh... Just saying, what's up to the chat and everybody. Um, I don't know, man. If y'all have been watching BZ stream, I have a, uh, I have. You know, I used to. I started out main in Canelo, and uh, I do have a full-on strategy for taking out Canelo. And I would be quite surprised if uh, if good old Greg doesn't come out with something similar to uh, to take out this uh, Canelo. Um, I see that uh, you know this is probably probably going to be Slayer's hardest fight thus far. Uh, in the season and uh, you know and that all depends on if if good old Greg has a strategy that's viable versus Slayer uh, or versus Canelo and uh, I, th I think this will be a great fight great 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 fight um, I'm I'm excited to see it and I'm excited to see if Canelo can Canelo is definitely fighting uphill in this fight I want to see if if Slayer can fight uphill So we're here. Um, let me see here. All right, we're starting out. Uh, oh shit! Oh. My my bad. I had been talking and uh <laughs> and I was on mute <laughs> the whole time. Um. Uh, so uh, if if. It's pretty if you guys have been uh, watching my stream, you know I have a pretty good strategy for uh, beating Canelo's, and uh, I'm excited to see this fight. 
I think that um, that this is probably Slayer's um, hardest match thus far in the season, and uh, I would be I'm. I'm excited to see. I want to see if Slayer can fight uphill. This is a fight that um, the matchup would would suggest that Slayer will lose, um, but maybe he can he can overcome that. He can overcome matchups. He can overcome um, the Avatar's skill level and defeat good old Greg. Yeah, you, you said this is probably Slayer's hardest fight thus far in the season, right? Absolutely. Just based who off of pure matchups. First, who who was his first fight this 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 season? Slayer's uh, first fight. Slayer's first fight. Uh, I want to say it was. Was it good old Greg? No, because good old Greg fought me first. I think it would be you, B. No, it was me. <laughs> it was you, Slayer. No, I thought I fought good old Greg first. <laughs> No, I'm saying, but Slayer's first fight in our in our league, not your first fight. Slayer's first fight. Oh, was against, you know, okay. One of his two and Whoa, four. yeah. Nasty left hook coming out of Canelo. Putting, did he take a knee? Sure oh, did. Oh, I don't agree with that decision. A little bit too early, in my opinion. He needs to save those for when you're just too damn tired to get up. Nah, I think I think it's a good strategy for. Uh, for for this particular fighter for um for Leonard, yeah, it was me. Uh, there was Slayer's first fight, and yeah, that was a heavyweight fight. Uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely wasn't Slayer's hardest fight. Uh, probably Slayer's easiest fight. Uh, <laughs> oh, another <laughs> doing work right now, just uh, sticking. Stay by the bay, possibly one second left, and he does survive. Oh, Slayer just coming in with left, right, left, right. Punishing so, this man. Greg gonna have yeah. to figure something out quick. So I hey. fight fans, I can tell you right now, this is not the strategy that I preach versus Canelo. This is not that. It's the left hook, man. The left hook continues to catch him, whether it's a check, whether it's a lead. He's doing damage on the left side or the right side rather of uh good old Greg's head and he's consistently just just hitting his target. Left hook, left hook. Uh, so that is crazy, Slayer. Yo, man, that is, that's dedication. Shout out to Slayer and Slayer. What I would like but, to see out of good old Greg at this point is, you know, he might need some of those lead body uppercuts. Um, and mm, you know, take away from that left hook. Not 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 necessarily because if he goes into the the right side, he's really gonna be dead. He's just uh, his timing is off. Um, he's just uh, he's not he's not utilizing uh, one of one of um, Sugar Ray Leonard's like best qualities. Um, you know, but I'll just put it to you like this. He's not taking them to Hook City. If anybody's seen what Hook City is, that's what he needs to be doing right now. He needs to be taking them to Hook City, and that is the way to de to defeat Canelo. Um, and he's he's just not doing it. Not a lot of fighters fight that way. Um, and yes, there is a, a counter for Hook City. Uh, I've I've ran into a, a special somebody I won't I won't name names but uh, he definitely put Hook City in his place and uh, you you gotta um, you have to be aware of when the strategies change mid fight in between rounds or whatever you got to be able to adjust 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 so yeah right now good old Greg is having a hard time he's not going to his strength in the first place. Um, and I don't know. He's he's in a bad situation. If he if he goes downhill, he's really gonna gonna get Canelo's power. Uh, and the way he's going uphill, he's not executing it the right way. So at this point, um, he could try to go right down the middle. Uh, with what he's doing. Uh, which he's he's trying to make that work. He could go right down the middle, and uh, that that's looking like his best uh, his best option. Yeah, 
Right now, I think he needs to, to not worry about it being a Canelo. He needs to worry about the guy who has the controller in his hand. And right now, the guy with the controller in hand is doing nothing but landing the left hooks over and over. And he needs to get his face out of the way of those left hooks, whether it's rotating downhill or not. Right now, downhill is not a threat. Doesn't look like it's a, a tool being used by Slayer. I would definitely rotate the other way. Get a guy, nice sidestep in there. Weave back out of the way, counter that left hook, because you know it's coming. We've seen it already a numerous of times. Get out of the way of it and counter your own counter. It. I mean, yeah, yeah, it could be valuable, especially with him being on on the visitor uh, side. I believe the visitor side has a lot of advantages, and he's not he's not utilizing his own left hook. Um, mm -hmm. He's he's not utilizing some things that he could to. Um, to really take the power away from Slayer, you know. Like I said, I don't like to give away too much, too much sauce. But he's he's not he's not going uphill the right way. He's not going downhill the right way. The best thing that he's doing so far is is uh, going a straight line. That's the best thing that he's doing so far. Uh, so all I can yeah, say is. Just keep doing it if that's the best thing you got. How you start, players. How you how you right how now, you Canelo's feel. starting to look a little slower. Mm -hmm. Starting to look a little weathered. Yeah, this looks like good old Greg is starting to adapt. Um, just reading through the chats real quick. <laughs> I don't know. I think Zayed was playing, but hopefully he sticks around. The man's already said I quit, bro. You know, yeah. going down to the Slayer. <laughs> you know, after wanting that fight. You know. Could be tough. Shout out once again. Shout out to E. He's in the chat. Shout out to E. Z. Kush. Friends. Hyper Aim. Glock. Appreciate y'all. And I just want to put this out there for anybody in the NBK League and anybody in any league. It doesn't have to be particularly the NBK League. You could be in, uh, you know, the uh, the the brother uh, the stepbrother league. You know, we're not gonna say that that name. Uh, you could be a you, you could be in the redheaded stepchild league, and uh, and I will you know what BZ will still train with you. I will train with you if you want if you want a sparring partner if you want a training partner, and you want to uh, you really want to get good and you want a viable strategy versus opponent. I will train with you one on one and give you good feedback. Um, this is. I got I got some sauce right here, and uh, this is one of those situations, you know. Maybe uh, maybe uh, you know somebody could have asked me uh, what some viable strategies are, and I definitely would have gave it to them. So anybody, anytime, any place, if you really if you really care about the game, then I I'd be willing to uh, help you out. Uh, you you gonna have your own Q and A, a little Q and A stage for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, geez, it, it, well, well, it looks like uh, Slayer has probably noticed his stamina is a little low and has been uh, hasn't been too aggressive, but he's still picking his punches. Uh, good old Greg, uh, it looks like good old Greg is doing a better job than the first round. Oh, nice power, power. nice power, yeah, but. After that power, you're supposed to go to Hook City to finish the job, but it was already at the end of the round. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I'm to see if uh, Slayer brought his float, he's gonna take him in the deep water right now. Uh, see the predicted <laughs> I think we're going to round four, are we not? He yeah, said the three. the oh, yeah, floaties. <laughs> The arm floaties, or, or he got the little, or he got the little flamingo around the waist. <laughs> Brought something, one or the other. We got Dora the Explorer uh, arm floaties on. Oh my goodness! Um, I, mean, uh, I didn't take him to, to, to high water. I didn't get to see the. Did we see who who what the rounds were? I did not. I was, doing <laughs> I, I, I was doing the graphics i like that i like that brids he, he put the bz in the mbk i like that that was creative <laughs> so that's the easy for the support appreciate him yeah you know we're trying to keep this game alive you know 
Ooh, nice, Greg. With the right, that was a right. Greg, let's, yeah, let's get it, Greg. Let's get it, Greg. Get him, Greg. What I, what I tell you, do what you doing. <laughs> Greg, he wasn't going uphill good. He wasn't going uphill good. He wasn't going downhill good. I said, Greg, stay down the center line. Do what you do well. <laughs> what I tell you? <laughs> Come on, Greg. <laughs> Greg, right down the throat of Canelo, making Slayer think twice. Just continue to play smart. Slayer trying to stay on the outside. This round belongs to... Uh... Greg, Greg can really be the one to let off the pressure right now. <laughs> you can serve some energy for the next round. Oh! As I say, why would he do that? Oh! Not again! Not Another again! Greg says, huh. What is that? A ten-seven round? I told you, folks. I told you, folks. This is going to be Slayer's hardest fight. Trust me. Trust BZ. Trust in BZ, baby. Trust in BZ. <laughs> Greg, Greg, trying to eat coming out smelling blood and he's coming out strong fast now she said <laughs> now, now this no is hurt this, to stay away from the damage right now stay on the outside this you know when this round's lost he's going to conserve his energy there's no sense in even trying to to, to produce any offense right now let the, the 30 seconds run out conserve your energy don't get any more damage dealt with you and try to do it come out with a better round this next round. the smartest thing that greg could do right now is not open himself up to getting caught you know um canelo can 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 tear you up with one punch at any time even with low stamina the smartest thing greg could do right now is stay in the driver's seat do not give slayer the keys oh oh my goodness yeah, he's gonna get up. He's he's, he's gonna, gonna get up. up, but this fight is in the proverbial bag. He is in the catbird seat. I told you about good old Greg. I told you about this matchup. This matchup does not favor Canelo. I told you guys. I told you. I told you. I told you. Slayer is Maybe. not able to punch uphill. Maybe Slayer should have took the the twenty minutes. <laughs> Nah, he needs a lot more uh, than 20 minutes. Nah, I mean, you know, maybe if it got the break, you know. Nah, maybe if they had out. a 20 minute knee, maybe that would help. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not right. I, I don't definitely don't want to write off Slayer. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm signing the check right now. BZ's right now. Oh, you off signing Slayer. it? Yeah. Oh, uh, see, so you're closing up shop, saying yeah. it's over. Yeah, I'm pulling oh, down okay. the pulling down the chain link fence, the gate, everything, man. It's over with. Turn the lights off. Uh, man, nah. <laughs> this is this is what I what I say a uh, crime scene nine one one police we oh. woo we woo <laughs> back of the truck uh, yeah man hey this, be this is... be easy Greg be easy Greg Greg's a little hurt but he's he's still pressing be easy Greg be, be easy yeah I know it's only one more round be I easy think. Greg. <laughs> The proverbial scene the cat's in the bag at this point um, it's it's his but, bag to lose at this point it yeah. is it, it is his bag to lose yeah it's not i i, I didn't see that I, I went i wish i would have saw the rounds um but i didn't i didn't see what it was so if 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 slayer were up three to zip then you know it uh, greg has to Oh, it doesn't matter. Nah. Three zip. I think it was, okay. it was two one. Either one of the ways. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter even if it was if it was three zip. Greg's still gonna win based off of a, a ten it's seven a round. Long. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was a ten six round. Yeah. Ten. Yo, right? ten six. Yeah. That's. There's no way he could come back from that without a knockdown. I mean, uh, really, uh, Greg could just put on his his good old track shoes and and just run to victory. Um, but oh, you don't have a nothing yeah. in the city, in any kind of city right now. Going to take a knee, knowing if he went down the hard way, he was possibly not going to get back up. <laughs> yeah. gonna take that knee, knee. <laughs> he, the ref might, the ref might not, might not let him fight all them punches he's taking to the face. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that hook was like, 
Oh yeah, it's over. The, the ref, ref called it. The ref said no moss. No moss. No moss. No moss, oh. guys. Oh my goodness. My bad. My bad, yeah. That's a, that is a wrap. Uh, that was a, yeah, he was he was too injured. If if it says TKO at the bottom of the screen, uh, the ref said that he was too injured to get up. It says nothing. It's just it's sugar. Fr- it's just frozen right now. I I can't see. Yeah, yeah, it's frozen. All right, so I don't know. Is is Slayer up for a little presser on on his two matches real quick while we get the next two people in here or? Slater, you you gotta go, Brody. So, uh, let I, one of us know. I, w- I would really appreciate it if you came in here and just had you know a little at least you know one sixty seconds. I'd really appreciate it, Slayer. Uh-uh. Well, while we see while we work that out, uh, the next fight would be Naruto and uh, I think Naruto and Hybrid Wayne. I think they, yeah, they're ready. And then easy, you you up after them, you up after them. So, yeah. You, you know, you know what the the one thing that I was surprised the most about that fight is um. It was a TKO. I, I, I swapped over to Greg's screen. It was a TKO. To confirm it, the ref ended the fight. The man could not get up. Well, got up still wobbly on the leg so uh ended the fight on a tko good i wanted to make sure that that wasn't a dc yes oh, oh, oh. slayer is here I, I think he's willing to talk hey you ready to talk go act we're gonna go act slayer go ask slayer if we gonna act slayer <laughs> what's up gang yeah what's good bro <laughs> what's good <laughs> good shit greg bro fuck all right man well, walk us through yeah, it. Well, first, man. walk us through. Oh, what up, Greg? Welcome here too, as well. Um, but Slayer, walk us through your first fight with with Zayed. Uh, I think he might have uh, ended his career early. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. He was still, like that was a good fight. Um, I felt like I did really well of avoiding his hook and countering to the body, and then with the straight. But damn, Greg, sheesh, bro. That was that was some. I had to come off that loss, man. I, I I was trying to push your button in, bro. Trying to push your face, but <laughs> <laughs> that jab and straight was like flying up. I feel after after stopping him twice early on in the in the I believe it was the first round, and then him coming back. I felt back, like, I felt like it's. I don't know. I, I felt like I was doing. I should have been doing more damage, but. I just felt like the damage wasn't there. Wasn't going. Yeah, I don't know. Um. It was. Oh, it it was hurt a... every time you hit me. That's for sure. It hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, vice versa. Uh, those straights and the straights and jabs are really powerful from Leonard. Uh, so yeah, I just try to bring the pressure and you know, blow you up with that leaping left hook. But so, I guess you got the better of it. So, um, me, I was really surprised at the adjustment. So, um, I seen it early in the fight. Slayer was really connecting uh, when uh, going uphill. When uh, when good old Greg was going up uphill, he was really connecting, and and we seen that Greg needed to make an adjustment. So Greg makes an adjustment. He starts coming down the center. Well, he was always coming down the center, but he stopped going uphill, and uh, and he he didn't have a good downhill fight. So I, I suggested that he that he uh, stayed center line. And uh, what what were you thinking as far as trying to adjust to his adjustment once those straights came? Um, did you have any any plan? Uh, honestly, I played this matchup like 50 times um, since Sunday, and I'm quite surprised what I've seen because um, as far as what I've seen so far, he would have been blown up. But I guess his straights were just connecting harder than my my left hook, so he got the job done. Okay. I think. What- Really made the difference too is that he was taxing my body here and there, so he really slowed me down in like the third. Okay, and and Greg, uh, what? Why wasn't it? Did you were was there any type of reason as to why you were, why you felt like you were losing going uphill and I didn't see you go downhill and I was like, well, you know, he's he's doing good center line. He should he should keep beaming him center line. What was your thought process? 
Oh, I knew I was going to keep getting rocked with those lefts anytime I tried to go up. Like, I got rocked with it, you know, in that first round and learned my lesson, that's for sure. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, definitely. I had to kind of <laughs> go a uh, different route. Luckily, uh, picked the right route. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, that's that's self-explanatory, fight fans. Self-explanatory. <laughs> Stick to your strength. And if you didn't know, ass slayer. Ass, ass slayer. slayer. <laughs> we might make that a, a, a thing, a ch intermission each time slayer fight. We're going to ask slayer. <laughs> Yo, we got the t-shirt coming, man. <laughs> we got the t-shirt coming. <laughs> All right, boys. I'm going to let you do y'all. Uh, good, yeah, fight. good fight, Zayon. Peace. I uh, appreciate y'all right. boys coming through. Once again, great fight. Uh, right now, we got up next hybrid, Rune and Naruto, and then EZ versus E-Man. Uh, uh, Naruto and Wayne was ready to go, but I was I already spoke to EZ, so, but I'm going I'm to just keep it like that. Apologize, EZ, for, you know, getting you ready. I know you need to fight it first, but let me just go with Wayne and Naruto. So with that said, we'll be right back. <clears throat> <laughs> oh man. Wayne and Naruto. Da -da 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 -da. Little Greg putting it into the undefeated.
punch count and removal of the puncher mechanic completely. We do not feel this will be in the best interest of the league. We want fighters and fans to have a clear understanding of what spam is in the NBK Champions League. No case will be reviewed on stream. Everything will be done on the back end, and it's only if it's brought to our attention. With that said, the fighters are making their way to the stage. Uh, let's transition to them right now. Oh, stream's a little choppy choppy but you know we're working with it we're working with it you know hopefully the 40 80 uh <laughs> upgrades the, the the quality a little bit but if I yeah uh right, a roy jones jr going against a joe lewis should be an interesting different size here gonna expect a lot of hooks coming out of uh, roy jones I expect to see who is who right now. Oh, Hyper Wayne is Roy Jones. Naruto playing of Joe Lewis going to stay on the outside and pick away, I expect. Yeah. Uh, we Is both oh, both yeah, streaming Hyper right now? And heavyweight. Uh, yeah, both are streaming right now. I'm on um, Wayne. All right, yeah, I was just trying to. But it's, oh yeah, it's, that is clear. Back, it's it's, it's clear, but it's slow. Just, it's, it's choppy. It'll catch up. It should catch up. There we go. So um, I can tell you right now, fight fans, I'm I'm expecting a flash KO by way of Naruto at some point in time. Right now, if I if you guys ask me, I'm going for Wayne. Nothing against Naruto, but Wayne search, searching for his first win of the season. Oh, so oh said it's no, already no. stunned here with less than two minutes in the first round. But a nasty uppercut from Naruto. Naruto trying to finish him off, but Wayne, but Wayne gonna do a good job of surviving. As I was saying, Wayne's in search for his first uh, win this season. So uh, gonna root for the underdog today. Uh, either 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 guy winning is a win is a win in our column with both NBK members. But uh, I don't like to see any NBK member 0 and 3. So come on, Wayne. Yeah, I would I would like to not see him 0 and 3 as well because uh, he's gonna have to fight me, I believe today in the uh, in the co-main event, and I would hate to have to send him to 0 and 4. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I hope I hope Ren says Wayne on points. I, wait, oh, Renz Wayne on points. Okay, I like that. I like I'll that. Let's see. This is chat. Anybody else in the chat want to weigh in on this? What do y'all? What do y'all? What are y'all predictions? One day we'll get affiliated. And we'll be able to put some legit predictions up there for you guys to to uh, to uh, actually work with. And that's only going to be possible with all you beautiful people, love and viewership, and all that good stuff here to support us, and we appreciate every bit of it. Yeah, RJ definitely. Gigi. Yeah, if uh, every, every follow helps us get to uh, affiliate, so as long as we can get to affiliate, we can do more things. Once again, I appreciate the chat and appreciate everyone being here. Sheesh. Um. So I mean, if if I if I were Wayne, I would think that would be what the, the fuck what? a flash KO. Oh my what? goodness! What? Oh my goodness! Heavy for Wayne. Wayne secured his first win of the season in a dramatic fashion right there. What a way to win the effing match! That's it, Dre. We're on, we're on a streak, baby. Every card thus far has had a flash KO. Wayne ended oh, it before wow. it even gets started. What the heck? What do you got to say about that? Man, well, I uh, predicted a flash KO, but on the wrong side. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We call that the chin checker. <laughs> Jesus. Somebody clip that. Nah, clip dang. that. That was over before it started what the fuck god Jay reaction what the fuck like, <laughs> over with flat line <laughs> done Man. with way cool the hot. plug anything said, you know what? i'm trying to beat in this ring get off of me 
Anything oh. could happen in the NBK League. Anything. These wins and losses matter, folks. These wins and losses matter. Somebody's going to get kicked out of the league at the end of the season. And all I can say is, move your head. <laughs> Wayne securing his first victory on this in dramatic fashion. I have an 80 now. My man. Yo, the there you go. Today, Send man. that to mama. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I definitely probably would have went with uh, Naruto. It's hard to go against Naruto and E-Man. These, these, these guys. I, I think. Now I have one. You know that that would have been a tough one. I probably wouldn't have went with Wayne because Naruto is a, a very technical fighter, and I know. I think Wayne would have probably been pressing, trying to get that first vic. And probably would have walked into something Naruto was setting up, but damn, that flash Yo. scale still got me speechless. Yo, plot twist. Speechless. Wayne been, Wayne been training with Iman to, mm. to, to fight Naruto, coming out here doing exactly what Iman did to Joe from the John first week of the season, ending it before it started in the first round with a flash KO fashion. You know, I had to get that one in there, player. <laughs> That was it was it was beautiful. It was a beautiful We're have flash KO. Side by side and see which one actually happened quicker. <laughs> which one? Well, I th I think Duke got the quicker one. But if I had to, if if we're talking about beauty, that was beautiful from uh from Roy Jones right beauty there. That was beautiful. Absolutely underdog match with the smaller fighter Roy Jones and with going in zero and two. Mm -hmm. Trying not to come out 0 and 3. Complete, complete. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah Dukes was definitely quicker. That's what she said. Stun yeah. I mean, uh, he stunned the crowd. Absolutely, showstopper. I looked away, looked back, and the Ruta was taking a nap. <laughs> well rested, as we say. <laughs> well rested. Oh my goodness. Man, and and. Chance in hell, I'm going three and zero today, baby. And, a statement. and and I told y'all guys last week that Hybrid Wayne is the most improved fighter, not just in the league, the most improved mm -hmm. fighter that I've seen that I, that I've played with um, in my in my time playing Undisputed, the most improved fighter, and I'm I'm absolutely shocked, flabbergasted. And you best believe I, I I was paying close attention to that. And uh, how do you say it, Dre? How do you say it? That's not gonna happen to me. Bet you won't do me no, like that. You ain't gonna do me like that. <laughs> you ain't gonna do me like that. <laughs> best believe. Like <laughs> Beasy, you're next. Look out, brother. Uh, you ain't gonna do me. Can Can Wayne get two in a row and even out his record tonight? That's the story of the day right now. Gonna have to go, get past Bizarre first. So he's definitely got a tough battle in front of him, but I'm, so, I'm sorry. I love you, busy, but I'm going for my boy Wayne all night. <laughs> hey, I've been uh, practicing too. I've been practicing. Uh, <laughs> I was. Joe from the John said he got Wayne in four. Oh my Ooh. God! Did, 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 why am I getting trolled? <laughs> put some bitties on, on it. I'll bet on myself. Bitties, oh, we put we putting bitties up. We put the bitties up. Put some bitties Yo, on it. I got five. I got five dollars on Wayne. Oh my God, he got five dollars on Wayne. <laughs> oh shit! The All right. starts now. Opens up in five dollars. I got five dollars on Wayne. Who gonna match me? <laughs> anyway, you be wilding. You be wilding. I got oh. two. I got two. I got two hundred bitties. Two hundred bitties on myself. Two hundred bitties <laughs> on myself. Who want to bet me? I'm betting oh, on me. Said he got we got five dollars, Wayne. We need someone to. Wayne. You know what? Fuck it. Ten dollars on BZ. I'm gonna match that. Ten dollars on BZ. All right. All right. I got my money. Up. I got my money. On, I got my money on BZ. All right. So, oh, oh, hopefully those uh, ads. Hey, got him a little check, so you know if he lose, he could pay up for me and whatnot. So, <laughs> but I got you, Joe. 
Double or nothing, my guy. It says that one thousand easy. <laughs> Alright, well up next, uh we do got E Man and, and Easy. Um but you know uh after that should be Tank and Tank Tank and Smoking Joe. I right, we could get them in or uh Code Man and Lazy. And after those two fights, we got the the fight of the night, BZ versus Hybrid Wayne. So with that said, we'll be right back.
for this one. I'm, I, uh, man, I'm gonna have to go with my boy E man. E man, you know, MBK, been against Easy, really good fighter over there, but definitely going with my boy E man coming with Nigel Ben. We know he can do some dirty work. Right now, trying to prove he's the better Flash KO, or can he do it in round one again? I, I, man, I, I speak it, it happens. BZ, how do you take this fight right now? Post versus Nigel Ben. Man, are, are you looking at this Ben? He is aggressive. Cocaine bear. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I got I got Duke, man. I think, uh, you know, it, it would be nice to see a flash out of Duke, but uh, I think Duke is really going to uh, pour it on. I like I like the matchup, um, and I think that uh, either it could it could work for either fighter. But just based off of the first you know 15, 20 seconds right here, I think uh, Froch has the easy has the wrong approach, and Duke's approach is correct, and we are going to see a KO. No, well, y'all not gonna do that to me. Y'all not gonna make me be the the one to pick against my camp. So you know. I'm gonna go with E Man on this one as well. <laughs> All right, last slide. Yeah, 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 do that to me. You're not setting me up like that. <laughs> so not only is he fighting fighting E Man right now, he's fighting the commentators on their picks. What does the chat feel? How's the chat feel? I want to see it. One for E Man and two for Easy. Who's got who? Who's got who? <laughs> oh, Brent's got the Easy. Brent's got you know, Easy. Brent, Brent's neutral. You can do that, bro. You know, if someone else would have picked, uh, maybe what he's. <laughs> Bro, I'm, te I'm telling you he's right working. now. I'm telling you right now. Duke is setting him up to get smoked. All all Duke needs to do is is not as stay stay composed. Don't get too wild. I see he's throwing some wild stuff. If he just stays composed, it's over with. Oh, crushing left hand to the face. Crushing. If he just, <laughs> you know, he, he's got, he's got a good neutral. He's, he's center lining really, really nice. The same way good old Greg was. And if he just, if he just stays in there, um, mm -hmm. it's going to be over with for, uh, for Mr. Carl Froch. It's going to be over with. Real fast in a hurry. I mean, personally, I think I think it's already over with. I think the damage has been done in round one, and uh, it look to me, it looks like there's no coming back. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Easy is a, a great fight as well. He's two and one. Um, Eman and the damage has definitely yeah. been done. Uh, for, was the first draw for. Mm -hmm. For people that maybe don't, maybe can't read the fight, um, if you're if you don't actually play undisputed, but you're a fight fan, um, for people that maybe can't read it, uh, when you anytime you see a fighter hunch over like that, they are hurt, and uh, Duke put the hurting on a uh, on Frotch on Easy in that first round beyond belief. He should not be. Uh, bending over like that um that that early in the round that should not be happening um easy's uh easy's got to make a huge adjustment i mean huge mm -hmm. or this or you're gonna see him get knocked down this round shout out to the dopest alien all right finally we, we, we even out the easy picks you know we are kind of a little 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 biased but you know can't 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 have the camp going against the camp, but um, I take nothing away from Easy. Like I was saying earlier, Eman and um, Julian's coming off their their the first draw of the season, um, uh, from, from Sunday's match, which was a interesting match. Uh, if y'all seen how how uh. Duke got really active in the last, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds of the fight um, last Sunday. Uh, I spoke to him after the fight, and I and I, all I said was, uh, Duke, you got to bring that intensity um, earlier in the fight. Don't don't save, don't save all of your skill and your style for the last 20 seconds. You got to bring it early on, and and uh, 
put make your opponent make some make some uh make some choices make them make some life life altering decisions and uh this is the most active i've seen duke in a long time duke is extremely active he ain't boxing he fighting right he out there <laughs> fighting <laughs> uh let's see uh we got this tank and smoking joe and lazy and cold man need those two spoke to lazy um bz uh oh yeah he's mm -hmm. actually messaging me right now sweet all right so we can uh, go with them lazy and cold man next uh lazy filling today going against cold man who's one and two um yeah and after that we can have tank and smoking Joe. that should be a good fight i would like to see those two before our main event with bz and with the money is on the line on the last fight of the night, BZ and Hybrid Wayne. Man, BZ, or, oh, excuse me. Hybrid Wayne better have uh, gone ahead and keep them thumbs warm, man. I'm, I got $10 riding on that fight. I got $5 riding on that fight. Joe from the Johns got his own $5. And Dre's got $10 on the fight to back up BZ. Anybody else want in on that? Send them bitties. <laughs> Send them bitties. I just want to know if I if I can get uh ten percent of the uh, of the bag of the cut when I knock them out. <laughs> I mean, you get you can, I get you get ten percent if you if you call around. You out there like uh, uh Babe Ruth and you know you kick around and then you gonna knock them out and that happen. You get your ten percent. I'll, I'll have to I have to tell you off air. I can't tell it to everybody. I have to tell you off air. Uh, until then, I'm Don King in it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don King in it. He said he going to take full of it. I mean, he putting the money up. This is bet, right? Wayne, don't let me down, brother. I said, right I, now, BZ. round three, E-Man, easy. We're going to see predictive cards next round. Who do y'all think is winning the fight thus far? From the looks of it, it looks like it, it could be a little even. I think it was even, even. I blow zips. Oh, I didn't even um, see. I didn't know why I didn't pop up. Shout out to I blow zips. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, um, lazy and who's who's up next? Is it lazy and who? Lazy and code man. Oh, lazy yeah, and code man. Y'all yeah. guys are up next. As soon as this fight is over, lazy and code man, you're up next. Easy and Cold Man's up next, and then we got Tank and Smoke and Joe. Tank is on. This is his second time, um, filling in. Correct? Or was it Kush? No, Kush was a filling one night. Excuse me. But Joe from the John. Uh, at the moment, I got E Man uh, winning this fight on the cards. I think he's got. He's gonna have all three rounds. Yeah. I, um. He, 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 I, still, I, I, I can't help it, but I'm not gonna say it. But I, I, I think in this class, more people are more afraid of a other fighter than they are of, of this fighter. So. Who's the other fighter? What? Which fighter? I mean, the yeah, the bands, the bands is. I mean, he went with all all four fights. I've seen E Man been Nigel Ben. That's all I'm saying. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. No one's taking. I mean, yeah, you got to take note. Yeah, you got to take <laughs> note of uh, who who you're fighting Ooh. and who they like to pick and and make fighters make adjustments. You're you're, yeah. you're gonna see some crazy things in the league in the league play because people are having to make adjustments they're fighting in different weight classes or they're not able to pick their best fighter um it is what it is yeah I'm just hearing notifications popping off left and right which is it's good uh it's a good thing i guess but uh 30 seconds to the end of round three uh, easy is eating up E Man's block. Uh, so we'll 
e is very technical if he's down these three rounds pretty much bet that he's going to be up the next three that that's nah, there's really given there's no way he he came out and dominated the first three rounds. i would be i don't know who these judges are but if <laughs> they don't give this man three rounds <laughs> uh the cobra paid him that's all i gotta say <laughs> Missing. We're missing Coleman because Coleman, uh, their fight's supposed to be at eight o'clock. They're a Coleman event. So we could, you want to go with Tank and um, Smoking Joe? Yeah, they're ready. I got yeah, a OG. Oh, I got OG Ice House here that says that he he was also willing to be a fill in, uh, if if we need one. Tell him to stand awesome. by. We might need him. I haven't heard from Coleman yet. We'll see. But uh, he's not expected to be here. Cold man, I think we're moving a little bit ahead of schedule. We had a lot of things moving around in within the schedule. And yeah, I think we're way ahead of schedule. <laughs> that flash KO. Yeah, the sure flash KO. Yeah. <laughs> that way took ahead. off twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, we're talking about where we should be at the seven o'clock marker. Uh, <laughs> so we're way ahead. Yeah, which is crazy. Flash came in the first. Down. <laughs> Cut 20 minutes off our time. <laughs> I'm talking about sheesh. 20 minutes. Hey, man, it cut a lifetime off of him. That dude died in the ring. <laughs> oh, man. We could, we could we, you know, if we, if we continue to stay ahead of schedule, we could. Oh, as we say that, oh, easy man. stun and E Man here in oh. round four. E Man going down. Oh. Hey, man. Uh, Kush, it was, e Man was up 3 3 0. He was up 3 yeah, 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 from one judge, he was up 3 All right, so that oh, that puts Easy back in the yeah. back, kind of getting in the driver's seat. Um, Duke needs to be careful with the wild stuff. That was the one thing that I noticed early on. Uh, he was doing what he needs to do, but I seen him taking a lot of. Uh, he's being quite risky, and he needs to, you know, be stay composed. Do what you're doing, but don't don't go too crazy. And I seen I seen a lot of crazy He's stuff. Got the fight one thus far, other than this round. And another thing, I said it many times, like you only got a minute left. You lost this round. Yeah. Stay out. You're winning the fight too. Yeah. So you lost this round. Heal yourself. Some energy. Yeah. And uh, come back and be and, and and come fresh in in the next round. Absolutely. That's absolutely a viable fight strategy. Um, just you can't you uh, you can't take hooks. Um, you don't want to take too much head damage. The uh, flash counters sure. to the head. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't. You wanna you wanna try to avoid that as much as possible. Obviously, you want to stay in there and do your damage. But uh, if you you know if you take one of those, you know maybe uh take a little water break or something. You know. <laughs> Like somebody's, see, see if somebody's they get, bound to be on the ground right now. Yeah, see if they got, you know, some Gatorade over there. Gatorade? But uh, Duke's definitely doing his thing. He is he is acting up. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think he's got more cards one than I mean obviously we only seen one set of cards and there's three. I think he's got oh, more shit. rounds won than uh three, than, three one. Than, yeah than what people might think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, he definitely lost that that round. Oh yeah. definitely, yeah, he lost that round. There's no no getting around it. Looking, looking a little beat up over there in the corner as as we're talking. He's got his mouth wide open, taking some deep breaths. On the other side, easy looks calm and composed. Looks a little more control of the fight right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> You know, five. This one, I didn't really expect to go the distance. Both fighters doing a pretty good matchup. Absolutely. I think if Duke had it his way, he'd have done had it ended by now. But Easy doing a really good job at surviving. Nice check hooks there. That's what Duke like has to worry about. Coach is one of my favorites. Man. Coach is, a, is, a, is definitely one of my picks in this weight division. 
He has to be concerned with with getting checked hook. And uh, outside of that, he's doing a great job. Just uh, you know, fro uh, approach. You know, he needs to he needs to keep doing what he's doing as far as the check hooks and the and uh, putting in the the right straight. He's doing what he needs to do. See right there, that was a great uh, check hook by Froach. But then uh, E-Man wasn't having that shit, and he let out a flurry. Uh, mm -hmm. Ooh, took an, he ate a nasty right yeah, just now. That, that's the wild shit that Duke mm -hmm. needs to stop. That was a, a wild hook, and he, he can't continue to do wild hooks like that and, and win the fight. Um, that Duke had fun, man. <laughs> oh, there's there's a there's a place for fun. He could he he could come spar me. There's all the fun. Oh. Show a little bit of my boxing skills. He gonna have to. He gonna have punish me today. He needs to be a little more cautious. He's not connecting as much as he was in the earlier rounds. Nice power body shot there. Try to follow up with some nice hooks. Successful. This has been a very, very interesting fight. I still got Duke leading. All Duke has to really do is continue his pressure, get his points, and don't get rocked. You know, don't don't get zoned. Oh, just oh, that ain't rocked and uh, set down. Uh, yeah. Duke. That's, change up your strategy, my man. that's the thing that he has to be careful about. That's like he's doing everything right, but he's leaving himself open to get zoned, and he's got to... He's got to be more cautious about about taking the damage. He's dishing the damage, but can you take it? He's got to be more cautious. So now Duke is in a situation. Um, this round is lost. Duke is in a situation where, well, the knockdown round is a 10-8 round, right? He's got two of them in a row now. Round four was a 10 8. Round five, 10 8. He's got one round to come back and try to secure this fight. Uh, yeah, he's, the predictive had him up 3 0 before the fourth round, going into the fourth round, correct? Yeah, yeah. it was 3 0, but now, so now. Uh, it's a 3 2 right now. Yeah, Easy should be should be winning by one point at this uh, going into the fifth round because he got two, he got four points and Duke's got three points. So. Uh, Duke's going to have to uh he's going to lay he's going to have to lay it all in line. He's got to pull out the air gears as he tells me. He's got to pull out the air gears, man, and he he's got to dust this guy. Where is this Where is the Sky King? If Duke's listening to me, where is the Sky King? Bring that shit and bring it now. <laughs> for for all of you anime fans. I stroke. That's did I say it right? What up, Maestro? Yeah, we block it on purpose, uh, just for, you know. Um, but we we the both fighters still stream in the Discord, so but it's just something for the for the fans, you know. We don't we don't have outside cornermen, so, um, but yeah. We don't, we don't want nobody stream sniping, watching their opponents stam and damage, you know, through the through the stream on their phone or something of that nature. So we try to keep it fair across the board, keep it blocked so neither fighter gets that type of advantage. Um, you know, Froch is a uh, Froch is staying in there. He's banging with them. Froch is Froch is saying, "Come on with it, easy." Is is not on the back foot. They are jostling and jousting. They are banging. Duke, mix the potion. Get him, Duke. Duke definitely going to have to do something here in round six. You got one job. <laughs> you got one job and one job only. Knock his head off. Expletive, expletives. We're gonna leave it all on the line here, guys. All on the line. 
Like I like to say, man, uh, if I get into a dog fight, I'm going to die on my sword. Who can even survive here in round six? A minute left. Can he survive? Cannot afford a knockout. God, oh, he's going down. No way he's going to be able to bounce back with that unless he lands one of his trademark flash KOs here late in round six after taking a dive. If he gets up, seven, eight, nine. I know, like KO. Get up, KO. Round six. Damn. Victor goes to easy. Easy. Good fight. That it was, was a good fight. It was a great it started fight. Out good. Yeah, it started out good for E, but uh, I think E needs to go back to what he was doing before with the feeling people, you know, getting to know what they do and then take it over. But I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah, from what from what I've seen is he just – he ended up eating uh and what who what are the what's going on with the scorecard right here? Oh, unless he was winning the whole time and I had it wrong. I had it backwards. <laughs> maybe I had it backwards. Oh, maybe so. Maybe I had it backwards. Maybe I looked up real quick when I was yeah. trying to look through the graphic and I thought it was uh E was up three. It probably was E Z was up all three. Well Yeah, Brent's Brent's did correct me. Oh, okay. Well, mm. What I saw there, uh, I think I think uh, Duke had a great strategy. I was a little bit surprised on Easy's uh, fight strategy, but he was he was definitely connecting with a lot of counters. As you see down there at the bottom, he had fifty seven counters to uh, Duke's twenty four, and uh, so he was connecting a lot on the counters, really uh, uh, putting the damage on him. You see, Duke's uh, left head is severely red severely red you hardly ever yeah. see that you never see a red that that deep um put your hands up dude put your <laughs> hands up he had 289 blocks Jeez. Uh, yeah so i think he had a i think uh both fighters had a great strategy um what i saw the difference was is uh duke was just a little bit too um even though he had a lot of blocks, he was a little bit too reckless with his punches. The counter punch is what took him down, uh, and and I think that was a, that was a tell of the tape. You know, uh, if you if you feel yourself getting getting countered off of certain punches, you gotta you gotta you know calm it down a little bit, compose yourself, and uh, and that's that's a hard adjustment to make. That is a really hard. I'm, I'm I I've been a uh, I've been subdued into that type of fight where uh, I got into a slugger mentality and I just couldn't uh, come off the gas. Uh, and it, it happens. It happens. You get tunnel visioned and, uh, you know, you can't see the trees before the forest. Um, but I think they had they had both really good fight strategies and, and uh, you know, easy came out on top. That's all there yeah. is to it. With, with E, um, you know, started out with the flash KO, started out hot, and then he had a loss, then a tie, and now another L, man. Uh, but I look to see E bounce back and uh, go go far into the end. When we get to the end of this round. Yo, what's up, emotions? Um, I'm doing good, bro. Uh, lazy I'm going to have and, a fight. Uh, cold man. Um, uh, I'll be the co main tank. event. Yo. I'm gonna be in the co-main event here. It'll be it'll be me versus Hybrid Wayne. I will be Gotti, and uh, Hybrid Wayne is going to be. Uh, uh oh, you been in the lab emotions? All right, I bet. Oh, that's what's up. We'll be right back while we get in uh, contact. It'll be me. Tank. I'm at the bottom. I'll be uh, Gotti versus Hybrid Wayne as Ryan Garcia. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to put on the show uh of a of a who's, lifetime who's because on? man I Did this pop out? Man, Ryan Garcia is it, Ryan though. Garcia is nothing to play with. You, I'm smoking Joe. You gotta right. you gotta come so ready to deal with up. Ryan Garcia. I gotta run downstairs. So as soon as Joe pop his stream up, we gotta 
Uh, no, Ice House, you don't have to sign up Disney. at all. Um, I make the locker room? I'll yeah, let you know if you're sit if you're still here. You I'll let you know, Ice House, if uh, we're gonna need you. Yeah, it, there won't be any sign up. Uh, you you're in the uh the MBK Discord, right? Mm -hmm. So you could uh, you know, just to be ready or whatever to be able to talk to somebody, you could go to the um the, code. the fight lounge. Uh, where is it? You could go. <laughs> yeah, you could go to the uh, maybe the locker room. Right. <laughs> the locker room. And, uh, I don't you know, know if it'll. I don't know if the it'll let you know. in there. But if it does, you could go to that locker room and uh, wait right there, just in case. As far as uh, you know, to to get uh, audio right, vis cool. visual go audio uh, cue, you could go there. <laughs> Team locker room, yeah. You know what it is, Serge? On certain, the alerts is not on certain streams. That's why you didn't see it pop up. It's only on the main stage. If you heard. Uh. Um. Joe, you need him to get that um stream up, Saka. Transition this thing. While we wait for smoking, Joe. <laughs> wait a second. Are we going Grand Venue, right? Grand Theater Venue? Wait a second. That's weird. First. All right. Huh. Still no stream yet? What's the hold up? We need a stream. We need somebody stream. You know, I was just thinking something, guys. Like, so the way we do it, if you have the better record, you get to first, you get to pick you get to pick first band but if you're first band the guy with the worst record gets to pick first pick so if I have the better record I ban first the guy with the worst record ban second and then he gets to pick first it I think it should be the other way now that now that I'm thinking about it I think if you have the better record no, no, I guess it's right. I guess it's right. Um, that's, that's strange. I don't know if we've been doing it right. Yeah, the be the better record guy bans first. Okay, so the guy with the lower record gets a chance to get the fighter. He gets a chance to get the fighter that he wants to get to be competitive. But I don't think that it, that it went that way for me. Because I lost my first two fights. And in my second fight, I don't think I got first pick. Huh. Hey, hey guys, are we live right now? No. Okay, hey.
was um yeah, it was by seeding to the higher or was that Uh, you, yeah, you, Trig, you and Trig, I think, had. They were, they were picking up on me, bro. Alright, um, transition is rules. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we had a little bit of a BQ. It looks like we have it again. Um, but uh, the rules: uh, six rounds, one point oh relative time, one hundred eighty seconds round lift. 1.5 damage modifier, no knockdown rule, 1.5 stamina modifier, no day by the bell, no mirror matches. IAC bans first, lowest he picks first. We got Nigel Ben versus Groves. Uh, this changes up to the main stage and these uh, fighters are coming in. George Groves. I unmuted. Everyone's good to go. Interesting pick out of Smoking Joe. Smoking Joe, uh, Filling in, uh, along with Tank, like I said, we had to make some uh, crazy changes today. Make sure we brought some Oh, yeah, so V-Motions. Um, basically, at the end of the season, um, the the lower the lower seed fighters are going to have to fight um, some hand... It's, a, it's an invitational league. So the lower seed fighters are going to have to fight some invitation fighters. And... Uh, <laughs> Man, uh, this, I never noticed that birthmark, but okay. <laughs> um, yo, this is interesting because, uh, believe it or not, just, I think it was two days ago, um, I was, uh, spar, I was sparring with, a uh, Tank and giving him, uh, quite a few tips and tricks, um, so, you know, for those that don't know, there's, uh, there, you know, there's kind of a, a tree, you know, kind of like the Patriots tree, and uh, I'm a, I would say that I'm a high hanging, high hanging fruit from the Smoking mm -hmm. Joe tree line, and uh, mm -hmm. Tank has a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a uh, fruit from a uh, from the same tree. Um, so that's that's mm -hmm. interesting that uh, you know, obviously. I got I got a uh, first hand lessons from Smoking Joe and uh, Tank got for uh, first hand lessons from me so he's kind of like a I guess a third generation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so he hasn't had a whole lot of time uh, with uh, some of the lessons that I gave him versus uh, I've I've had months uh, since Smoking Joe has taught me to uh, improve on s certain things, but uh, if I just had to. If I just had to pick, yeah, I'm, I'm going with Smoking Joe here, and mm -hmm. uh, it's, and you know Smoking Joe's taking it easy. He's a, he's a pretty chill guy. He's not he's not going crazy, and he definitely um, he he's definitely Smurf picked right here. <laughs> he's smurfing him. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I I've spotted against Smoking Joe, and he called me straight trash right out the gate. So. <laughs> You know, I was, you know, I, I'll take nothing by it. I probably know it. I haven't played it in a while, building the PC and all that sort of stuff. Um, but, and I've sparred against Tank. Um, I think I probably not, only got to knock him down once, but he did win. Uh, cool. Shout out to him for that. But uh, I look forward to seeing him. And um, he might be taking over a spot in the league. Um, he has been vacated by a clown, but um, hopefully... Uh, he said he wants to absorb the two L's that the that person had. So, 
um, we'll see. Um, we're going to have to discuss about things because this will mess up the tournament a little bit. One division, one conference will have one less player. Uh, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, I also, yeah, there's there's people that, are, there is a line of people that are that are uh, one, wanting to get into to the league. So, um, you know, it's a, you know, it's an invitational for all the fight fans out there. It is an invitational, and you know maybe we could, uh, maybe we could uh, do something like throw a little tournament for the guys that want that spot and let them fight it out. Maybe, yeah, maybe Serge, that. Serge, Serge did say that he did bring that up. Yeah, uh, which would have been which would be a cool idea. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we could pull that off if we do it. Uh, Shout out to Sano Sama. I know he was interested in in joining the league. Uh, we got DFW King, uh, Lazy, uh, Tank, Kush, I think. Yeah, we got a lot of people lined up wanting that one spot. Um, shout outs to Chocolate. I hope, you know, everything goes out well with him. But if he has to vacate his spot, we might have two. And then we might have to just go that route and just um, have makeup matches. But we'll we'll talk about that when that, when that happens. All right. Also, all right. for those who, who want to get involved, at least with, some, with, with, with what we've got going on over here, we do have Tuesday night female uh, weight division fights. Uh, we've got a couple signups now, and it's open in our Discord if you want to want to get involved with that. But we're going to try to start doing that every Tuesday night. Display some of your guys' skills. Get the get the women's division some spotlight, a change. Uh, we've had a lot of talk in the league to adding that next season, adding the women's division next season. So we're trying to get a little fill out for it. You guys are interested in fighting on stream and fighting against some other top competitors in the women's division? Sign up in our Discord and get involved with that. That'll be a, that's going to be a fun, fun new gig. I think even Beezy's going to try to fight, and he he don't like the women women's division. <laughs> should should be interesting. That is a true statement. I don't like fighting with girls, but I will participate uh, because I like fighting. <laughs> so, if it, if it was a monkey division, I'd be in there swinging. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that son, I was saying to I lost it because my dog was going off crazy because the wife was home, threw my whole train of thought away. Uh, uh, but this fight, uh, what does it look like? Does it looks like George Groves? Gonna take yeah. two rounds. Yeah, that would that would be cool. Rounds. Uh, uh, gosh, I don't know how to say your name, Rich. That'd be that'd be really cool if you could get your uh, your career mode fighters. Yeah, I think it would it would have to be career mode fighters versus other career mode fighters, but that that would be great if they could get it in there. I don't I don't know how that would work out. But that'd be that'd be pretty pretty awesome. Smoking Joe is kind of known for the guy that you don't want to fight within the camp. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, uh, Smoking Joe does. The, he, he's probably like the, the, the father figure, the coach. Definitely like a like a yeah a father figure or a, you know granddaddy coach. I don't know what you know a, a village elder. <laughs> I don't know what you would want to call it. Uh, yeah, that's more about it, right? The village elder. <laughs> Sha the Shaolin master, you know, he doesn't come out and fight everybody, but you know, he does your ass up quick. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, quick. Splinter. Splinter. Master Splinter, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Tank is out there. Uh, he's still, still holding on to those kingdom tags. Uh, it might be a dying breed right now. Uh, you might be seeing a lot of kill switch boxing out there, so um, get get used to saying kill switch boxing. Yeah. Loso. Do we have a does uh did Loso give out a a logo for kill switch? Do we have it or? N nah, I didn't. Okay, okay. It's a night. Against the grain right now. He's gonna get the logo after he get the name. Yeah, so it, you know, been there, been there. whatever happened happened, with between them. But you know, uh, you know, 
It's, it was a do it, do it now or never type move, I guess. So I guess really, everything else will fall into place. I'm really sad he didn't pick MBK. I, I, I root for Loso. I like him. He's a great guy. I, I was hoping that he would have he would have came over to MBK. I did uh, do my pitch. Uh, <laughs> I gave him my spill, and uh, I guess it wasn't enough. I couldn't sell a car. <laughs> nah, he didn't want to KD it. You know, he didn't want to KD it. So um, he, he didn't want to play. He didn't want to play with the team that he, that he was down three one two. You know. <laughs> On a serious note, though, we haven't as NBK. We haven't lost a member in a good time now, probably a month or so, and we haven't gained anybody either. But we've got a long list of waiting, in, you know, to get in. We've got a lot of applicants. We just we, we're picky. We're, we're very picky. And we've got certain standards in there. And if you have filled out an application to join the camp, go back and read those uh, requirements and things of that nature. Get in, start hanging out with some of the other members, get to know them because, you know, you gotta you gotta pass the vibe check. You, know, you gotta pass the vibe check before you before anything else. You can fight good, you can do all that good stuff, but you gotta be cool with the dude to hang out with or or chick, whatever. Right. You definitely right. have to pass the vibe check. Oh, tank. Yo, wait and down. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. We haven't seen that in a long time. Tank is out there doing that, doing doing the Lord's work, I guess. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna touch BZ on this, this his nerve on this one. Uh oh. We've talked to him before in the past about being a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Smoking Joe coming in here a little overconfident in my opinion, picking a very low grade fighter, thinking he's gonna have the upper hand. Again, just want to put a show on for the fans. I'm sure with it being an exhibition fight. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, that, as I say, that prodigious cards in three to three to zero. None. Yeah. With a, the last round of ten eight, but again. Bizarre. He's been in them shoes before where you've decided either to let off the gas pedal, whatever the case may be. And how many times has that come back to bite you in the ass? Man, every single time. Um, and, that, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just looking at the name Smoker Joe, and I was like, wait a second. He's not uh, he's not in the league, in the league. Uh, yeah, this is an expedition, uh, exhibition <laughs> match. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See? Uh, that's a Texas State, baby. <laughs> it's an exhibition match and uh <laughs> laughing at me. All right. And so um and uh, yeah, I think I think uh that's exactly what's going on. Uh Smoking Joe is is really on cruise control and uh he's he's giving us he's giving the the people a good show, a good fight, and uh, you know, uh we're we're getting a chance to see uh tanks uh, maturity uh, we're, we're getting a chance to see him grow uh, mm -hmm. right in front of the league and, uh, and Joe is uh, uh, allowing I'm, I'm not going to say he's I'm not saying that uh, it's not a real fight it is a real fight um, but uh, Joe Joe has nothing to lose here this is an exhibition fight and, uh, and Joe's so. exact words was let's make this interesting there you go. Yeah. There you go. So <laughs> Joe, let's make it interesting. So yeah, Joe's in a situation where he has to fight uphill. There are bad matchups in the game. There are lower fighters and things like that. So he's fighting up uphill. Let's see if he can overcome the matchup. You know, we've said it. I've said it a million times. We'll say it a million times more. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Smoking Joe is definitely deadly. No matter what point of the fight you're in, whether he's down on the cards or not, he can slide in his own knockout at any point in time. Definitely. He does not need to need to play the nice guy card here. He needs to keep the keep the pedal up to the metal. Yes. And uh, keep doing what he's doing. But still, be very wary. Just because you knock this man down doesn't mean he's he's not dangerous. Uh. Definitely not. Tank uh, needs to be driving like Fast and the Furious 10 right now. And uh, Smoking Joe is uh, he's just chillaxing, just uh, waiting for that car to get it, get out of control. Um, and, and, we'll, and we'll see what happens. We, we will see what happens. Going into round five here. You 
think Smoker Joe did anything different in that round? Maybe, maybe, maybe snuck around away in that coming out of the predicted car. It's already down three to nothing. Thirty to twenty-eight, might I add. Uh, honestly, what I what I expect is I, I see I see Joe just kind of you know picking his shots, uh, you know shooting a shot here and there i think what what actually might happen is round six you might see smoking joe go all in he might go full-fledged in round six and and you know try to just keep him on his back the entire round um that's just me guessing that's just me guessing like you know he's playing the nice guy role right now and then uh He's going to give it everything he's got on the last round to, to kind of see where Tank is. But I have no idea if that's if that is a truth, uh, if that's fact or false. I have no idea. Oh. Well, right now, he's stunned again here with two minutes left in the fifth round, going down to the ground with a body uppercut out of Tank. Tank. With his debut on the MPK Championship League as a fill-in, doing a great job thus far, putting away, or at least putting the sweat on one of our very heavy hitters within our MPK camp. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe just the, the spotlight, maybe the show itself could be. This is the first time that Joe's been on, been on the main stage, been under this much spotlight. Maybe that could weigh a factor. Do you think, you know, Dre? Do you think that may be something, or maybe I'm just pushing here? Yeah, I think you're pushing a little bit, bro. I don't... <laughs> well, I, yeah, I, I, I think I don't think Smoking Joe is gonna gonna come out the victor in this. I think Tank's gonna it's gonna win this. So it's, uh, it's a little uh, bit too late for Smoking Joe. I see, I see Smoking Joe's right hand getting a little bit more active as we speak, and uh, okay, he's not gonna have a chance taking a knee. Ooh. Going down for the second time in round five. Yeah, he's taking a knee. My, my mistake looked like he did, but let me actually take count right now. Count. So, I wonder, I wonder if uh, Smoking Joe's listening and if if he's you know he if he's aware that uh that Tank was training with me uh, a couple of days ago. I wonder if he if he knows that. I know I know Joe's. Like I said, he's taking it easy. If you ever go to Smoking Joe's stream, uh, he's he's got some some masteries to him. Call it what you will. Uh, he he knows how to um, how to use the game, how to how to how to maximize punches in the game. He does have masteries to him, and I can tell you right now. I would not be the BZ that I am today had I not ran into Smoking Joe. Plus, uh, J Surge, by the way. Let me give J Surge his, his credit. The original corner coach while I was out here just uh, playing Mortal Kombat with boxing gloves. <laughs> I, I definitely could bet if uh, Smoking Joe gets to fill in again, he will not do this. I don't think he will do this again. I think I think that he got the interesting part out of his, his system. I think he's gonna come in with a better fighter next time and put on a better show for himself. You know. Yeah, I don't. Interesting gets you. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I I think um, I have no idea. You would you would have to ask him. Oh, uh, you know what was on his mind, or you know what was he trying to do, or prove, or uh, learn. I'm not really sure uh, where where his uh, mindset is uh, coming into this fight, other than just other than just to fill in and uh, put yeah. on a good show. That for sure, I know he he came to fill in and put on a good show. Mm -hmm. Definitely easy. Oh, there we go. Finally. Oh, what was that? What was that? A <laughs> he taunted him. <laughs> he was trying to take a knee i'm sure that happens yeah, sometimes probably. when you try to take a knee yeah <laughs> it's like hit me i dare you <laughs> taking that one right on the chin oh uh, joe Boy. knows smoking joe knows he's still a little hurt so he's rushing him hey i i warned you i i called smoking joe would would give him a knockout in the uh sixth round Oh, got him again. 
I, 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 I told you. Again, it's going to be difficult for uh, Tank to get up if he does. Going yeah. Three times in one round. I told you he was oh, going to put him on his back the entire sixth round. It was just a guess. It was just a guess. <laughs> in, He's got a minute to do it again. In. He's going for it. He's, Tank needed to survive yeah. here. No one. It's just a, a, a fun fight, exhibition fight. But uh, he is trying to go. Tank is trying to survive. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> wants to come away with the victory. He says, "Catch me if you can." If you can, gingerbread man. Can we, oh, <laughs> uh, he's gonna. He might start him. Not the gingerbread man. Run, this is gonna be. This is gonna be the longest twenty seconds. <laughs> yeah, just a little too late for Smoking Joe after putting the hurt on him here in round six, not being able to catch the Moby Dick with his uh -oh, feet right now. He's trying to travel. Oh, he, he, <laughs> he's just doing his best. As two, one, in, the, zero. The, the that was a really nice shimmy days. there. Nice fight yeah. Both fighters. <laughs> <laughs> we were, I think it would have been a completely different fight if we had one more round. One more Joe, round. <laughs> maybe Smoking Joe not too familiar with the sixth round. Maybe just overestimated his ability to take the man to the deep, deep water. Not enough time to do so. Yeah. Nah, I tell you. It would have been a different fight if it was more rounds. But, uh, that man brought his floaties. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> he brought his floaties. Yeah, he brought a whole <laughs> They did, they did. That was funny. That was funny. Tank, outstanding job by him trying to make his or making his first day. Both fighters making their debut, taking the fight all the way to the last seconds. Great yeah. fight by both fighters. Didn't really expect Tank. Nothing against him. I personally have not seen him fight too often. I know who, what Smoke and Joe brings to the table. Maybe his fight pick, fighter pick, wasn't wasn't the best choice. But hey, who cares? Great show, nonetheless. Appreciate both fighters stepping up and putting on a show for us tonight. I think we should be able to move into an official. Oh, no, we, no, we have another fill-in fight after this, don't we? Before yeah, we, we got the lazy, lazy and cold man. man. If I can get both fighters move over to the locker room, lazy <laughs> and uh, well, cold man. We still haven't heard from him yet, so we still haven't heard from cold man. Damn, man, we spoke to cold man all day yesterday. I was looking forward to the fight and whatnot, but I don't know what happened. Still an hour ahead of schedule. Could wait a little bit, but none of that. A cold man? Not, yeah, he's not supposed to start until 8 o'clock. Um, but, uh. Till 8 o'clock? You know, Damn, how are we moving so quick? We might have to change the times yeah, on this thing. I, I thought we the went times from, were a little off myself. We went from 45 to, to, 30 to 30 minutes. minutes. Now we gotta go down to 20 minutes. At least 20 minutes. Yeah, I think. Or 15. I think 15 minutes. Well, regardless, nonetheless, all fighters are supposed to be present in the locker room 30 minutes before their scheduled fight time for instance of this nature. I know we're still an hour ahead, but it still hasn't checked in. We're supposed to do that at 4 p.m. CST. So he hasn't checked just, in. Yeah, just to check in. I, I don't know. Maybe um, we should make sure we go can over we, that way. Can we um, message them or something? We got. Oh, we have. For two hours now. Okay. Well, then that's not the that's not the case. I mean, at this point, it is what it is. In the chat that wants to jump in, go against Lazy or Hell. If Smoking Joe wants another round of show, you know, showing what mm -hmm. he really got. I know Sano Sama. He he been trying to get in. Um, he said, "Give me BZ. Well, BZ, <laughs> I get ready for it. Nah, we got and, money on BZ. And so. we got OG Ice House wants to get in as well. He's uh in my chat." Um, we 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 gotta save um, BZ hands for that money for that bread. So <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm, a wanna... pro, I'm a prize fighter. Come on, huh? Yeah, we don't we don't want to mess up them fingers. <laughs> uh, was it OG? Yeah, OG Ice House. I just sent him the link so he could actually come. I mean, he's I believe he's in the uh and I told him to come to the chat as well. He should be in the Discord in the in the locker room waiting. Let me see. Um, he is not in the locker room. There he is. He's in the locker room waiting right now. Ice House is there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
said bro he's in the chat didn't know you had a twitch <laughs> yeah i just i just posted the uh mbk promotions twitch up so he could uh, actually come to the uh, twitch channel go ahead and give us a follow too ice house and uh yeah you got yeah you got the follow in so I'll we got play it once i get on the main we stage. can just get lazy over in the locker room we'll be able to get this one underway uh Dre, you want to play that flash knockout from earlier yeah you right let me uh see if i could do that real quick Thanks, stage lazy says he can't join the locker room for whatever reasons Bobby doesn't does he have the rolls and whatnot? Already gotta take care of play, just jump on over. Let's see. Already got you set up, play, I just need you to jump over to the locker room. <laughs> Any see. chat room at that and I'll pull you to where you need to be at. Yeah, get on get on the MBK Discord, scroll down to you yeah, see I can hear it. a whole bunch of names. <laughs> Hold on, let me uh it's not, it's not up yet. Yeah, I gotta change the Thing, they change it real quick. Just put it on your screen. If you're if you're sharing your screen, you just pull the clip over to your screen. It's not yeah, locked, boss. lazy. I promise, brother. It's not for you. You got all the proper roles. I gave them to you. There we go. You scroll down, down. Scroll down, lazy, till you see my name under the MBK uh live stage click the locker room that says ice house's name on it click the locker room with ice house's name click that <laughs> the clip this clip is up and running don't be worried about that stanima <laughs> which locker room are you looking at you looking at team locker room or you just looking at locker room yeah it's locker two room, not team locker room you want to see Surge in the ring? Say on the road. What's I seen that name before? What's up, bro? First time chatter. I can't hear it, but I know it's playing. The sound. Oh no, it wasn't. It's muted. It's muted. Wow. So while wow. Surge and Lazy figure this out. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. There we go, Jay. Beep. Oh. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Hello. Yeah, we got yeah. you. Uh, you hear me? Yeah, lady, yeah. You host it up. Send uh, Ice House the code, and we'll get this show on the road. Ooh, say less. How you feeling, Ice House? You ready to go to sleep? <laughs> lazy, is, lazy in here already, bro. Maybe the hell. stage oh, all right so we'll be right back while we get this stream up and uh turn this on sit tight um all right, everybody's been muted who's hosting lazy yeah. so, uh, can y'all hear me yeah we, yeah, hear, we you. hear you buddy hey how i send him the code how you want the code send him in that fight room yeah, just click his name and and then DM it directly to him. <laughs> uh, what weight class will they be fighting? Oh yeah, how you wanna? Yeah. yeah. I guess. Uh, they told what's, me what's, 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 what's but it, it don't yeah. matter. That was close. Yeah. Was close, man. Hey, since, since I'm just filling in, you pick, man. It ain't nothing. Let's go game. heavyweight then. All right, let's do it. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, they are doing bands, right? Yeah, we'll give them a full full simulation. So they're we're gonna move to heavyweight. Um, we're gonna we'll need to do a coin toss. So fuck it, I got a coin right here. 
I got chills. <laughs> yeah, let me get a coin top right here. All right. What the round length need to be on? Six. 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 All right. Six rounds. Uh, 1.0 time relative. 1.5 damn. 1.5 damage. All right. Okay, 1.0 time relative. All right, bet. Damn. The coin toss was hits. So, um, Ice House, you get Ice. to you get to ban first. Uh, is there anything that's already banned? Fury and Muhammad. Man, I ain't banning nothing. Come with your best shit. <laughs> oh shit! Man, we got the about? heater. I'm trying to knock you out, so I'm gonna go ahead and ban Joe Lewis. All, all right, right, that's all the bands, right? So that's, yeah. That's so who you picking? You got first pick now. We ready to box? Y'all ready to start it? Shit, we ready. Let's go. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Okay. I need to stream up. I need to stream in Discord. Yeah, we need to stream right. up, and we got to go through the correct, the correct uh thing. So you get to pick your uh, fighter first. Uh. Or wait, who? We picked. That's all right. I yeah, they picked already. Oh, they already picked. Okay. Yeah, yeah. this is my first deal with you guys, so yeah, sorry okay. if I sped it on right. a little bit. Your first day got to be a sleeper, but <laughs> <laughs> I just need it in Discord. So yeah, yeah. So y'all share your screen, screen with Discord. All right, hold up. Uh, how you want me to do that? I got, I got it. I got it. Uh, all right, let me. Let me get back over here. Then... Y'all sure y'all want to watch the sleepy or the sleeper? Uh -huh. Well, either. One of them. I got one. Nice one. Alright, y'all go ahead and start it. I'm gonna mute y'all. Y'all talking right. shit. The transition. Right. I'm gonna say go to zero so they can see. Go to that. Oh, welcome back. Uh, we got the two, two fillings. Uh, yeah, we was a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, uh, and OG uh, Ice House, uh, it stepped in. Real quick, real quick. He wants to get uh, familiarized with the the settings and the rules and how the league play is going on right now. Shout out to Lazy. He's been itching to get in. He's he is probably the trash talker of undisputed right now. The the probably the the best trash talker. Uh, let's see if he can back it up against OG Ice House. Uh, Search and then BZ, which I think is going to happen in this. I don't know. I haven't watched much of Lazy. And I haven't seen any of OG Ice House, so I can't call it either way. Uh, I think this is going to be a great fight. These are uh, two guys with, you know, it's going to be a lot of testosterone in the ring. You know, I, I, w I wish they were uh, they were talking so we could hear all the all the trash talking, jostling going on. These these would be two fighters that would ax absolutely be talking through the mouthpiece as they trade blows. Um, man, I uh. I haven't seen Ice House in a while, but the last time I seen him, he was very, very dominant. So I'm going to pick OG Ice House for the win. Yeah, that's uh, all right. Uh, uh, definitely, uh, you know, new to our settings. The, the first time fighting them within our league, so it'll be interesting to see how they adapt to that. I don't know much about them or how involved they are with other competitive leagues or anything but you know six rounds relative time a lot of people aren't used to it man the, the, the six rounds can seem like it's 12 rounds uh, before you know it, you're out of breath and, and and you're trying to hang on for your life in the third round right and uh shout outs to leon for the follow and zay on the road for the follow uh yeah leon it's not regions only uh it is mixed regions um so we should uh but it looks like they're in this, they have great connection, so it should be a great fight. Should be no issues. Oh, Brent says lazy by KO. Okay, lazy got some supporters. That's good to see. Now let's see what OG Ice House have to bring. I could probably turn the volume and see. 
There you go. <laughs> Joe from the John. Don't ever say he he again to BZ. He he. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh man, it's all mm. good. It's all good. The jab king out there throwing jabs to the air. Oh, uh oh, ice up, huh? jab king. Ice, yeah, ice house did say, Yo, I ain't banned it. Nobody bring your best he player. Bring, he said, Bring that work. He said, Bring that smoke. I well, lazy, he, wanted, he wanted to smoke. Lazy might melt all the ice. Watch out. Mm. I see some veracity coming out of both fighters. Mm -hmm. um, they they are definitely in the phone booth. Let's see who brought their super suit. Oh, that was a nice walk right into that. <laughs> nice. All right. Might see Ice House. Oh, no, 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 you cannot stay in the phone with Wilder, bro. He, he is. Ooh, there he come with them things. Yeah. You got you got to get in. You got to get out. That's the way she likes it. I mean. <laughs> Shout out to Lazy, man. If y'all watch, he, he's a streamer, too. He's a very entertaining streamer. Uh, he's... Stands up and plays, no shirt on. Nah. <laughs> he is very animated. Very. I'm telling you right now, there are some bombs going off in his stream. He is screaming. He is. He's telling them he's about to go to sleep. Yo, for all the followers of uh, BZ, put some pillows in the chat. Put some pillows in the chat. Look, he say, bro, finna be sleep. Sleep. Bro is uh, finna sleep. Put some pillows yeah. in the chat. Yo, man. Yo, you can't. Yo, you gotta be able to take trash talk, man. I hope no one takes offense to the trash talk, man. It's all fun and games at the end of the day. Um, you know, it's it's just what box boxing does. It's, it it brings out the the, the sh shit talking, the the fucking trash talk. So, yeah, so it's. I love to see it. I love to hear it. Yeah, when you get in that ring, nobody can save you. No mamas, no sisters, no daddies or brothers. The best they can do is throw in the towel. It is man versus man. Testosterone mm -hmm. versus testosterone. You better be prayed up. Definitely. Definitely. So, uh, let's see. Uh, after the, the stuns and knockdown, let's see if uh, OG Icehouse can bounce back these last couple of rounds. Been in this, not gonna lie. Shout out to Leon, bro. Yeah, um, our next fight card is on Sunday. We have eight fights. Uh, just uh, sign up in the in our Discord in the MBK's um, camp uh, fight league, Champions League. Um, sign up, and um, if we need a fill in, uh, we'll let you know because uh, all fighters got till 5 p.m. for Sunday fights, 5 p.m. Saturday to pick their fighters and bands. And for Thursday fights, it got till Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern Central Time to pick their fighters and men. Um, so we, we need the fill-ins. We can't be doing fill-ins last minute. And um, so uh, I think if Joe's in here, if you could post a Discord or BZ, if you can, you post a Discord. Kush is looking for a Discord. I don't know why I can't. My hand's not working. But yeah. Once again, I appreciate all the followers, all the followers today. All the views, all the people in the chat. Um, you know, trying to get to affiliates so we could get some predictions going. Add some other things to the, to the stream, you know. So, help us help you. Appreciate you. I was first. Yeah, so up next is um, Fight of the Night. Easy and Hybrid Wayne. Actually got some money on the line. So, well, I look forward to seeing that match. Hopefully, these two guys are just struggling and struggling, slugging it out in the middle of the ring. I 
I told you guys it would be a live one. Uh, ooh. ooh, crushing blow. Crushing. Yeah, I think he's going to survive. He just survived. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people do ban Wilder. Um, maybe OG Icehouse isn't used to the to our league rules. Um, you know, everyone kind of plays on 1.0 damage, 1.0 stamina, but uh, we have 1.5 for both and 1.0 relative time. So six rounds can feel like 12 rounds. You do have to manage your health and your stamina in this six round fight. I knew I knew he would be. Say that again, baby. I knew he would be. Um, well then, so let's let's add Coleman since he was here. I knew he would show up a half an hour before his fight. I know the timing was off. So, um, let's see if we can add Coleman. And he was supposed to fight a um a fill in anyway. So if anybody want to take on Coleman, uh, just let me know. Jay Serge thinking about stepping up and putting his gloves on for the night, giving Code Man a fight. Mm hmm Oh man, the commentator's gonna gonna step on into the ring with a, f a league fighter. It's a fighter. It's a fighter that's been a commentator. <laughs> me. Uh, fighter uh, at the core. Yo, let's get see Jay Serge in the ring, my boy E. Hey, Atlas throwing hands. Mm -hmm. All right, if that's going to happen, if you, you set it up, I'm ready to call it. Wilder versus Uxek. A little bit of stutterish going on. He's really trying to put him to sleep here with that nasty overhand right that Wilder possesses. A little foolish. That's nasty. Oh, don't know what happened there. Ice House doing a good job at surviving.
No, I didn't see the cards, man. I'm uh, getting my match set up with Code Man, so uh, you guys have the floor at the moment. I don't know where Dre went. Man, you got to watch the, the Discord stream, my man. You've been watching it from the Twitch stream the whole time? No, you, well, that's why you're behind on things. Yeah, yeah watch, the, watch the actual Discord stream so you'll be able to watch it at the same time we, we're watching it. Man. Yeah, and you won't see the, the overlay and stuff. I got to miss the whole round, the the end of score round. I wonder who who are up. I'm pretty sure uh, the way it was looking, lazy was up. But yeah, the end of the end of four. Ooh, nice house is trying to make up. It looked like he's trying to make up a little hit, uh, but. Leon is calling out lazy <laughs> in the chat. Wow. We might get to see that one day, lazy and Leon. Because yeah. of feeling. Yeah, y'all actually have me muted. I'm muted right, right now. <laughs> oh, so lazy saying Leon knows OG Ice House. Mm. Lazy is calling, calling out everyone today. He is. He is one to. One to talk it with. Will he back it up? Will he be able to complete this? Complete this fight. Causing many problems. Yeah, he's. Appreciate that, easy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, I saw that straight. Mm. It's. There he goes. Ooh. Down goes Ice House. Very nice power. Extremely yeah. nice power. Lazy. <laughs> Lazy isn't messing around. Leon, it, it is pillow it's time. As fuck, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Shit. Do we put. Le Sorry, what you gonna do? Are you are you gonna lace him up? Oh, you gotta lace him up. Okay, lace him. Oh well, you won't be waiting too much longer. Uh, Wilder is having his way. Oh man, damn Leon, I love to see you in there, but we don't have any more. Uh, uh, we gotta keep it towards the schedule if. Probably a little earlier. I could have, we could have probably skeezed you. And we had a lot of fillings for today. Hopefully, we get to see you on Sunday if we do need a filling. And down goes Usyk. Throw in the damn towel. No. No, no, yeah. Usyk's having a real hard time. Lazy just 
you know, chopping the tree, peppering him. I wouldn't even say that's pepper, man. He's just putting hot sauce all on him. Um, and for those that don't know, man, Wilder is a hard matchup, mostly because of his height. That's what really gives uh, Wilder the competitive edge. It's his height. And uh, he's doing his thing. <laughs> Be right back. Ice House going down again. Is he going to be able to survive this time? A KO in the favor of Lazy. Lazy coming in hot saying he's going to put him down, put him asleep, and he does just that. I keep losing my sidekicks here. I don't know what they got going on, but hell of, fight, hell of a fight. I didn't get to see most of it. I'm setting up the next one here and there. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to step in the ring, go against Codeman. Codeman showing up uh, on time for his fight. Our fights are a little ahead of schedule today, but uh, so he missed his actual fight. So I'm going to fill in, give him a fight, try to do the best I can. It's been a long time since I've stepped in the ring. So, uh, should be uh should be a big favor toward code man after this fight don't go anywhere it's gonna be bizarre versus hybrid wayne hybrid wayne trying to go from zero and two to two and two and put bizarre down to one and three after that crazy crazy flash ko in his fight earlier tonight in round one put it into it before it even started yeah Fight of the night, the money fight, big money fight. Got some money riding on BZ and some money riding on Hybrid Wayne. Shout out to Hybrid Wayne for uh, sitting out waiting to the end to be the main event of this fight card. They ready. So, they ready for Hook City, y'all. Uh, they ready. I got $5 right. on uh, Wayne. They ready for Hook City, y'all. Joe from the John got $5 on Wayne. And Dre coming through with $10 on BZ. Anybody else want to take the odds? Send them digits. <laughs> so, so I forgot about you, Serge. You, you fighting next with Coleman, right? Or, yeah, uh, me and Coleman going at it next. Okay, Ricky okay. Hatton versus Canelo. We can't. I can't even do that graphic right now. So nah, I don't even up. worry about it. We just fight go get. Yeah, let's go to the fight card. Let's go with the fight card. So, yeah. All right, Brent so one K on BZ. Hey, show it. You gotta put it in my hand before it becomes legitimate. <laughs> and then I'll have uh, Wayne take a fall, and we'll just split it. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll be right back with uh, Coleman and uh, um, Search. This is gonna be a fight to see. Fighter turn commentator. Yo, y'all get Taking ready. Y'all get right ready, now. man. As soon as, as soon as I'm up, man. Y'all, I'm up. Get muted. Y'all, y'all, oh, y'all get ready, bro. Y'all get ready. You watching your stream? I can't yeah, you wait. Watch mine. Uh, <laughs> you just tell me when you're going to start it, and I'll mute myself, and I'll start it, and we're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Leon, if, if Leon shows up for... Sunday fight, we need a replacement. We definitely gotta put Leon versus Jeff. Lazy. Leon and Lazy. Hello versus yeah, you might as well you might as well tell them to get ready, you know, put the put that on there on, you know, a surprise guest or whatever. If somebody don't show up, just cancel the whole shit and have them ready. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely can't do it tonight. I gotta kind of back on the husband duties. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean there. So, so right after this, I am logging off. Just 
just gonna remind everybody they got till 5 p.m. Saturday to get their fighters in there. It's, it's, uh, you could choose your fighter search. You know. I already got it. I'm waiting to hit the start button. You just tell me when. Nah, you could. Now that the countdown and then I transition. Alright, I'm gonna mute myself so I can't hear you. Can't hear me. Alright. Alright. Hella shit in the chat. This guy. Pump it out. Yeah, I gotta update their names. Oh, we got J Surge and Code Man coming out the tunnel. We almost got the stream up. It's finna go live. All right, we good. We got Surge, J Surge, fighter turn commentator versus Code Man nine 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 nine. Uh, I used to call that man code name, but I've since got it together now. But uh oh shout outs to the new followers. Uh who we got? We got Joshi Sopashi. What's up my guy? Stay on the road, Leon, Biohazard, the, um Maestro and my bro Zips, dude guy, Sly Who, all new followers today. Appreciate you guys. What's good, BZ? So what do you think on, on this fight before your main event fight next? <laughs> Um, well, let me see. Uh, what's good? <laughs> I just got a message from Lazy. <laughs> he heard me, he heard me pick against his Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'll get to you in a second, Lazy. Um, this matchup right here. Oh, this is a tough one, man. Uh, gosh, you know, my my gut feeling okay. your gut yeah. feeling bro well I, I'll, I'll tell you what I know what I, what I uh -huh. know is Ricky Haddon should not win this fight by KO whatsoever should not happen that's what I know um mm -hmm. uh, so if if uh Jay Surge comes in on his complete boxing work uh he'll he'll win this by decision. Outside of that, mm -hmm. Code Man is gonna hit him with a bear paw. The polar bear with red hair is gonna slap the dog shit <laughs> out of Ricky yeah. Hatton. If he oh, gets yeah. in the if he gets in the phone booth, it is over. Mm -hmm. So uh, appreciate appreciate that Ice House. Uh yeah, the man who uh sets up uh is currently fighting right now so as soon as he's done his fight he'll uh take care of that i'm pretty sure to pass the message on uh serge is ricky Han. he's the guy on the left i was uh lazy but, i was you know, worried you, that you sparred against um serge i was worried uh, that uh you might you might not know how to started, handle serge was the one who kind of put us all on the map handle the softball but you got it done uh he hasn't fought fought in a long time so it's probably like riding a bike. He probably is gonna have to get one or two rounds under his feet, or under his belt, just to not that, get that the feel of the that, game that again. Remember the I was buttons. just thinking, like, man, he but might have a problem with the softball. You, I remember you used to complain about a lot about him and, saying uh, he was running. I, you still I won't be picking against your Wilder anymore. A, a, a style of surge that he is, quote unquote, he's a runner. He's a runner. He's a track star. Um. You know, I have uh, as far as uh, as the the runner term goes, I have my uh, I have my my feelings about it. I'm kind of I'm kind of fifty fifty with it. Um, and 
and I'm and I think I'm coming I'm coming on uh coming along a little bit better. But I I think why I'm fifty fifty with it has more to do with how Steel City made the game and less to do with how the players are playing the game. I think that's my biggest problem uh, with mm-hmm. with with the runner style fighter. Uh, it's right. more, it's more of the the game mechanics, less of the people actually playing the game. Right. So I could uh-huh. see, I could see myself being a fan of of this style, or or the mm-hmm. style uh absolutely not working in the near future uh with uh incoming patches that may change the way the game plays i could see it going e- either way um <laughs> friend says search has the stanama sauce stanama <laughs> stanama sauce stanama. yes you so bashi he says don't doubt a man from texas yeah the mouth from the south Surge. surge is a card fighter <laughs> He definitely plays the cards very well. Uh, It's very rare to get him knocked down. Oh man, yeah, I got Uh, nothing. I got his streams. I I got um when he's my picks, bro, lazy, bro. I just be picking. I ain't got. I ain't got nothing against nobody, bro. I love everybody. I just be. I just be picking a couple. I be talking trash and doing. Don't put your hands up. Hands down, man down. Wild picks, bro. I don't got nothing. Hit back. My picks are very serious sometimes. Just now. But that definitely was not a serious so pick because cool. I hadn't seen yeah. Ice House play in like a month. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what Serge is seeing right so here, but he sometimes is my picks are wild. Canelo, peace him. Never, yo, never Give pick against Lazy. All right, all right, I Lazy. knew it was coming. I will, I will right. never two pick piece against you. And a biscuit. Never. He's trying to power out of Scouts that. Scouts honor, baby. Mm, Scouts honor. The legs cross. Jab King forever. Once the legs entangle, you are. It's. It, the bug, you know, it's very hard to get out of it. <laughs> Gucci. So he was just a sitting duck right there. Yo, I hope you let off some of those Boy. bombs in your chat, bro. Boy. Let them bombs <laughs> off in your chat. <laughs> yeah, Yo, so you was so you was so definitely so banging. Um, you was banging on ice house. Gotta get used to it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll give him that, but I, I've seen all those hits. He's he's on loose feet. <laughs> this yeah that's this that's a bad situation to be a loose foot and that <laughs> close to uh to canelo is is a disaster waiting to happen that's like a, a fire sitting right mm-hmm. next to some uh some gasoline just you know just rolling towards the fire that's basically what's going on right here right um so We'll we'll see. Um, <laughs> we we will definitely see. Oh, I I think hold me. I think the problem is here is that Ricky doesn't heal heal well in between mm. rounds, and these are some really long rounds. Uh, yeah. So that's the problem that Ricky had is gonna have right here. These are really long rounds, and I mean. Mm-hmm. Ricky would need to have on, you know, his Usain Bolt shoes, like the fastest shoes in the world to deal with uh, this Canelo. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, so he's trying to bring up his uh, stem because he's still, oh, he took off straight while he was still stunned. Ten seconds. He just escaped. Surge with the power straight. Oh, he's got stun. Yeah, it's not looking good for Surge. Code Man is unleashing. Yeah, I mean, it's... Surge re- is really in an uphill battle. Like, mm. I'm talking, I'm talking about steep. I mean, this steep. hill, this hill is mm-hmm. like, like a Hot Wheels track hill. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. <laughs> this is the loop de loop that uh, J Surge has to go through. Um, right. This is not a, in my, in my opinion. Not a fair uh, fight. Not a fair fight whatsoever. I mean, J Search's right. skill level would have to be that uh, probably three times of Canelo's to be able to win this fight. Right, right, right. So it's like, yeah, it's, uh, it's the, the the level of competition has grown. Even though you know, uh, when you play ranked, you know, there's there's, there's certain kind of players out there, but in our league. 
competition has grown. Uh, it's a lot of hours these fighters put in, even if they do not like the game or certain mechanics of the game. But they've put in a lot of hours. And, and Surge trying to take care of the Discord, trying to take care of the league, kind of set back. But I think this would just light a fire on his ass to, to get back in the ring, um, take more and take part of more fill-in matches and, and get his feet wet and, and, and bounce back. It uh, doesn't look good for him in this round. Just like you did, BZ. I'm a, I'm closing up shop. I'm <laughs> dusting <laughs> off his seat. <laughs> oh, get, get Surge back up here in this commentating box. So, he, yeah. You might as well turn his mic back on. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a bad matchup. I'm I'm not even blaming Surge at this point. The, the matchup is uh, it's a steep ass hill. It's extremely steep. It does not favor Ricky Haddon anywhere. There is no favor to Ricky Haddon in this matchup whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll see. Uh, it's, it's, well, you know, Serge is one of the ones who uh, uh, copyrighted that phrase of his. Uh, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So let's see if he can... Uh, uh, Put it together and then um, finish out strong. Uh, I am starting to see a little bit of a frustration level out of Code Man. I could see it in his his foot movement, his body language. There is some mm -hmm. frustration, um, but regardless, uh, if Ricky Haddon gets in there at any point in time, uh, either either hand of Canelo could really just send uh, Ricky Haddon to the upper room. <laughs> the upper room. Mm, mm. Oh, and he's eating those things too, to the body and the head. Yeah. yeah the end of round three. We'll see what the predictive card says. Uh, it look. It, it, it's probably going to be three three zero for Code Man. Yeah, probably. I mean, he 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 ate a lot of power. There was a lot of rocks in there, a lot, you know, zoned mm -hmm. him a lot. Oh, they got two cards to one. Surge is only down a point. Only down a point. Okay, so he won yes. that last round. He did start to move better, jab better, counter better. Uh, mm -hmm. He's gonna have to keep that pacing for the next uh, three rounds in order to win this. Right, because um, if Surge drops one round, it, at best it'll be a tie. Uh, worst, he'll he's gonna lose. So he can't right. drop any he can't drop any more rounds whatsoever. I mean, I think Surge might me have to make me open up back the shop because I know I st stated first that he is a point card and it shows it there. He's up two cards to one. You know, he's down a point. Um, but I might have to open up back the shop. It looks like Surge is getting, getting well adjusted to the fight again. And two more rounds. Let's see what he does in this. Uh... He's, he's, okay. he's not eating as many combos as he did earlier, but he's still eating a couple. And yeah. he's still he's starting to fire back more. Right. That's you know that's that's the one thing I'm noticing is just the body language of Canelo. He's um he's not eager to get tagged up on the way in. He's mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. nice two piece. <laughs> yeah. He's 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 really just you know relaxing uh but if i mean i don't know you know i watch code man fight a little bit code man the what he needs to do is just be real oh, oh, oh there it is oh, what there it is with what? the with the taunt yeah. wow with the taunt yeah. wow so uh, 
Let me roll the gate back up. So, and we gotta bring the gates up hey, back. Open it up. Hey, we got some customers. We got <laughs> some shop. customers, man. We need to service the, the people. Open. The hey, shop is open. This is what happens. Um man. I don't I don't even I don't even want to elaborate on it too much. I don't want to elaborate on yeah. it too much, but um one thing you can't do it, you know what this, this the the word is out on canelo and the word is out on canelo man it, yeah it, it, i'm sorry to say i i just don't expect to see too many more canelo picks in league play i just mm-hmm. i just don't um the if if you if you don't see how to destroy canelo right here right now i mean i don't know what you're looking at if you right. if if you can't figure it out by watching this fight in the last time you seen J Surge uh fight BZR mm-hmm. this 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 is the blueprint to destroying a Canelo and there's nothing Canelo can do about it um it just it just is what it is uh yeah he, easy with the eye says Surge growing into the fight well but I think he suits a boxer puncher more than a brawler swarmer like Hatton so uh I mean, that, he's, he's that definitely could, grown into the fight. That could be true, uh, but but regardless, the fight style that he's using is is the right one to use. Whether it's a swarmer, a boxer puncher, or uh, a slugger, whatever it may be, the the style that he's using is the way to uh, to take down Canelo. This is the, mm-hmm. the clear cut blueprint. Uh, something that that I've adapted from fighting against J Surge and the only thing that uh the only thing that, you know, I tend to do I guess a little bit more is I'm I'm still more willing to get in the phone booth than uh J Surge has ever been. <laughs> right. So it is what it is. Um all, all uh all I can say What's up, is hey, hold on man. All I can say is uh you know Canelo's got to find some better angles mm-hmm. uh, to cut Surge off. To cut him off, yeah, it's got to start with the cutoff, which mm-hmm. I, I understand it's hard to do in this game. It's not easy. It's got to start with the cutoff, and uh, you you want to trap Haddon any way you can. And uh, I'm thinking, yeah. you know, you trap him and you go to the body, so that Haddon doesn't have enough power to punish you. And you finish the fight like that. That would be the the best strategy, I I believe, because uh, clearly he's already knocked him down. You you want to take the take the power out of Haddon, right? Uh, so he, so you know take the danger away from him. Take the danger from him. Uh, take the ability from ha- uh of Haddon to be able to knock you out, rob him of that, and then uh, and then finish the fight. Right. But yeah, but Serge is eating the the punches right now. Yeah. I think uh Cormac has to do a couple oh flash KO, two flash KOs in one oh, night. Oh my goodness. Wow. Somebody clipped that. I two you know you flash know KOs. And what did I say at the beginning of the fight? I said that there's no way Haddon should should KO um Nello in this situation. Yeah. He sh- he shouldn't but maybe I shouldn't have said that. You know, I shouldn't have said that because there is a way to beat Canelo and and he did it. He did it in the fashion that you're supposed to beat him. So mm-hmm. like should Canelo that's kind of a toss up. Should Canelo lose? Not he shouldn't he shouldn't really lose, but if you fight him that way, he will lose. There's not a whole lot of Canelo can do if you bring the right strategy. Wow. Well, that was a great fight. Good to see Serge come out and uh, put on his gloves. Haven't done that in a long time, which is crazy. So uh, we'll we'll get him up in here uh, so he can recap that while BZ and Hybrid Wayne gets ready for their fight. Yeah, so, give me a second. I got to boot up my game. Yeah, go, go do your thing, Brody. We'll get Serge back up in here. Where is Surge? 
Recap that two flash KOs in one day. Two flash, I didn't think I was gonna be one of them, I mean, not at least not on the good side of it. That was a <laughs> heck of a fight. Code man putting work in on me early on in the fight, man. I had to make some adjustments. First time I've been back in the ring in a long time. I had to go with my, my bread and butter, uh, Ricky Hatton, one of my all time favorites of the game. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you know me, man. I, I I make good adjustments. He had me on my on the ropes early on in the fight. I said, "Hold up, wait a minute. Can't go down like that." Had to do something. I I still didn't expect to end it with a flash K. I was looking for it right there at the end. Code Man was trying to make some adjustments, try to bait me into the fight. He knew that you know I was I was uh, out countering, out blocking him, uh, mm -hmm. out boxing him on the outside. So he was trying to bait me into his pocket, to his to his uh, to his danger zone. Uh, I knew that I didn't I, I wanted to I gave it to him a couple times I gave it to him one time and he made me pay for it I mm -hmm. gave it to him again I made him pay for it and then at the end of the round he was trying to bait me in again and I, I just couldn't couldn't uh, I couldn't allow myself I knew if I took too many more of them gut shots from Canelo I was done so uh, yeah. it was a it, it was a good fight yo man. what's up Joshy uh, you guys let me get yo in it's go that. time you know Codeman letting me step up and, and mm. knock, knock some rust off Hey man, mm. I still got uh. it, bro. Still got it. I ain't even gonna lie. Bro. Uh. I closed up shop after that second. <laughs> I thought you was done. I was like, yo. Was, even, even knowing me, brother, what's my famous saying? Man? I did say it. I had to open up back the shop when and I said it. I was like, Serge always says it. it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So. Wow. Always the adjustments that need to be made throughout the <laughs> Craig, fight. the forklift driver. The, the yeah, from, bro. From the, Watch from out the for me, Joshy. Watch out for me, Joshy. You know what I'm saying? Um, you seen it from me. You seen it from Coleman. Coleman tried Main to make event it. Main event time, baby. Time, and I caught him slipping right there. You yeah. know, it could have went either way. But uh, I got to do what fight. I got to do. Coleman, thanks for letting me fight, my man. Yeah, we got to bring it. I have to do some more of that. That was fun. Big BZ in a building. down off your adrenaline high. To, uh, uh, take care of OG Ice House. He said he's you know what it is, muted. baby. Yeah, uh, I got the glasses really out, man. The, Big BZ in, the, in so. the building. You know what I gotta do. Once, once you come down, your off your high. Get that out for him. Let's get him. I'm Ray trying Moe. to. I'm go. trying to go two and two. Right, now we moving into the money fight of the night. If you don't know, you do that, now. We got that money time. on the line. Bizarre versus Hybrid Wayne, both from MBK. Both got the same current record right now. Hybrid Wayne coming in the evening with 0 and 2, taking a flash K. He got the first flash KO of the night against uh, Naruto. Gonna try to keep his momentum going, going <laughs> against a heavy hitter like yeah, Bizarre. Yeah, go crazy, the baby. Tonight, I got five dollars on Bizarre. Joe from the Johns got five dollars. Or I'm sorry, I got five dollars on Wayne. Joe from the John got five dollars on Wayne. My boy Dre gonna back up Beasley with the ten dollars. I'm rooting for my boy Wayne. Come out on top. Square, square his uh his record around. All love for Bizarre, but it's the story of the night. What a crazy night it's been already with all the adjustments and all the things that we've had to do just to make sure we get a show on tonight. Uh, had two crazy flash KOs. Had some some great fights thus far. Man, Dre, what do you think? You think we're gonna get a flash KO in this one? How do you think this one? I'm, Wayne's already got one on the night. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think we're gonna get a third one. That'd be in, insane to get a third flash KO in the evening. Um, if we do, that some something is <laughs> in the air. Flash KOs aren't as random as it uh, as as I believe it is. I think there's something in there. I've seen E Man do it. I've seen Naruto do it. We seen Wayne do it. We see you do it. You know, um, I think I'm, I'm missing one because we have one every day. Um, but uh, it's this... that nasty straight man. That straight does it every time. You just got to hit it at the right time. Mm -hmm. And that's what I that's what I got the knockout right there out of was a was a was a straight. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, let me see. Is the boys ready? Oh, we got Wayne and the, oh, they are ready. The main event. Is Red to go. Um, 
the fighters choosing their fighters. Let me uh, stream. I'm gonna, All right, so we all want to watch um, from Wayne, or you're gonna watch from me. Let's or? watch bazaars. It'd be better quality. Bazaar, you turn off all your stuff. We'll just watch your Twitch. Jay, you want to do that? All right. all right, let me set it up. All right, we'll be right back, fellas. All right, um, all right, guys. I gotta turn Twitch. off the camera. Um, I had to turn off the camera and the mic, but y'all, uh, yo, I want to go back and watch that. Y'all watch. Y'all didn't the... think I was gonna win that fight. I didn't think I was going to win that fight. No, I, no, I didn't, yeah, I, didn't. I didn't think so, but I, I should have known. I know you had the strategy to to beat um to to beat a Canelo. Um so, but I I wasn't too sure if you were going to be rusty on the strategy. Right. Yeah. Man, he I mean, I was at first, man, he he them, he was hitting me with them gut shots, bro. It fucking, and then that the one time he that first time he knocked me down, I didn't even like, I don't even know what happened. I just went down. I mean, it, it happened so fast. I know y'all was watching my stream. It wasn't a ghost punch. It just, I was like, what the fuck? All right. No, we saw it. Jay. Yeah, we oh, saw wake it. up, Jay. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> All right. So. It needs a camera. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I was just putting the thing in there. Uh, y'all can watch me there. Watch me here on the stream. I got to take the camera off and the mic off. All right. So here we go. Oh yeah, um, feed a fighter. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I'll be blocked by right, right. Hey, bro, I wait. got, I got it all. I got it all done now. Mm, as soon as that countdown begin, we're good to go. Hey, uh, kick, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna turn the countdown on and then like, uh, kick me out of here, or whatever, so I can't hear y'all. All right.
right. Um, yeah, man, uh, I think they lost some money. They lost some money betting against me, man. It is what it is. Um, let me go to the Twitch channel and see what they're talking about. Some you lose some, but you won. That's all that matters. Absolutely, absolutely, bro. Guys, keep the feedback coming. Keep the love coming. Share the share all the good stuff. Uh, until next time, guys. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Go have a good night. Absolutely, I had to I had to bring bring the fire. But uh yeah man I was able to I had to switch it up a little bit. I'm sure some people were were probably thinking I was gonna do something a little different. I'm sure they was thinking I was gonna do something a little different, but uh you know I came ready for for the fight. Um I've been practicing, practicing, practicing for for that fight. And I was gonna try to get some some different combinations in, but clearly um, he had been practicing as well. So uh, the main thing was, um, I had you know, you have to make adjustments. I'm, I made an adjustment, and then another adjustment, and then another adjustment, and uh, I was able to to do what I wanted to do. I was able to to get the fight that I wanted to get. Um, so, <laughs> hey, hey, GG, Ivory Wayne, GG, man, GG. I just didn't, I didn't want to get put on on that uh flash KO highlight reel, you know, just have me getting looped for days uh, on the on the NBK league, you know, just I didn't want to be on that highlight reel. <laughs> that was that was the main goal. GG baby GG. Ah man, I just um You know, like I said, I know there's a lot of tape out on me and stuff and uh I do a lot of a lot a lot a lot a lot of sparring. I do a ton of sparring and I had to cha I had to change my mindset. I had to change my mindset. Um and that's that's all there is to it. That's literally all there is to it. I had to change my mindset. Obviously, 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 there is some sauce in in the mindset, you know. And you know, BZ don't like to give out the sauce. You know, y'all guys will eventually catch up to me with you know any any way whatsoever. Sooner or later, I usually, um, you know, let it slip. Uh, the people who keep watching my stream, you know, the longer and longer they watch it, sooner or later, I. I slip up and give out the sauce, and you know the pack of wolves come running, and uh, and they and they say what they you know, and they do what they do. Um, but yeah, I was able, you know, I was nervous as hell, man. I I absolutely knew going into that fight, Hybrid Wayne could take me out. I was I was very aware that I could lose that fight easily. I even had a what was it the second round? I had a lapse. I went into the weave, locked my feet up, and he absolutely bodied me, bodied me, and I was like, "Yeah, that that's not that's not for me at this point in time." Um, and and when, and when he rock when he bodied me, man, I was, bro, 
I was heated. Luckily, uh, my face wasn't on cam. I was heated when I went down uh, in the second round. I was so mad at myself. Um, and then, you, as you can see, I came out with a, a little more... Uh, you know, a little bit more um, aggression. I, I was I was very, very mad, very aggressive. Did not like to, to get rocked like that. I was not happy about it. And, it, and I got rocked because, you know, it was a mental mistake. And I, I was so pissed that I, that I, you know, I had a good first round. And the second round, I, I made a mental mistake and got rocked. Oh, man, I was, I was, heed, I was heated to the millionth degree. But you see, I got I I had a chance to you know take them to Hook City. I think it was the first round. I got the the big rock in the first round. I got to take them to Hook City, but I couldn't finish. You know, you sparring, sparring, and league fighting are two different things. And you could you could spar all day and night, um, however you want to spar. But when you get into a league fight with somebody, when you get into a, a fight that matters, you know, all all uh, not all of the sparring, but a lot of that sparring goes out of the window because you got to figure out, you know, what the other guy knows and what he doesn't know. Your spar partner knows you. He knows you and y'all might be practicing certain things certain moves this this and that uh that's about the only thing that'll come into play uh whether or not you could land the moves that you practice outside of that um it's a totally different fight you need to know if that guy knows the moves you need to know if that guy you know your spar partner's got your timing down he's got he knows everything about you he's he's watching you he, he sees you do the same things you know um, fight after fight after fight you're sparring against them but just because you know your spar partner picks up something and knows how to stop it doesn't mean that that something that you do well the guy that you're fighting will pick up on it and and be able to stop it because in the fight um the fight is so fluid when you get into a ranked fight everything is happening you know you know real life speed and you're you're having to deal with a lot of stuff you're having to deal with your speed his speed his power did you make a mistake is he capitalizing on the mistake that you made uh are you willing to 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 go back into that situation that you just made a mistake and just keep it going are you going to change you're going to change your strategy do you have another strategy you know what i'm saying like some people don't even have multiple strategies they don't have multiple tools so there's a lot there's a lot that goes into it it's abs there's absolutely a lot that goes into it you know, so that there was some some insider stuff there, but you know, nothing nothing too crazy. Stuff that you should probably already know. You know, and uh, shout out to my boy Angles TV. Shout out to Angles TV. You know, had some conversations with Angles about about my fighting and taking it to the next level and things like that 
you know I'm always interested in this game and trying to be the best fighter I could be trying to do better and uh, shout out to angles TV you know just uh, talking me talking me through some things man you know I, I get inspiration from all the fighters from everybody you know I, I'm I try to be, stay in the community uh, I talk to fighters top level fighters low level fighters if I see you do something good I'm paying attention because I, I wanna whatever you're doing if it's only one punch if you're a fighter and you got one punch but you got one punch that's better than anybody else's punch I'm paying attention I want to know you know what's going through your mind like how did you how did you work work on that punch how did you uh you know master it because i'm trying to i'm always trying to get some mastery in my fighting it's always you can always learn There's always, there's always room to learn. Always room to learn. What the fuck happened right there? Fucking lag. So, you know, I'm still not the best. I'm not the best fighter I could be. I'm I'm still not the best. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, how to get better and better and better. I'm still learning. Still trying to learn man you can always learn I played so many matches of this game so many matches and I'm always learning a little crease here a little crease there and just that little bit man just that little thing that you pick up might be the difference between you winning and losing a match you just never know
keep with you and move the other guy since you server mute both fighters. Uh, well, you knocked him the fuck out. Cost me five dollars, motherfucker. <laughs> Did you get your ten percent? That's all I care about, BZ. Man, it, it just adjustments, man. You got to pick up on what the other guy's doing. If you think, if you feel like you can, uh, uh, you can get in there like he's not gonna have anything to answer for your fucking hanging and banging, then hang and bang. But it, like, that's what I tried doing, and then he fucking shut me down. So nope, you gonna have to catch me? <laughs> Hell no, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna out point game you. <laughs> so wait, BZ, are you three and two now? It's two and two. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good shit, man. I mean, I, I'm sorry, Code or whatever his name is didn't show up, but uh. Well, he's the yeah, guy I, I knocked out after that. He. he... It's not that he didn't show up. It was we were so ahead of schedule. His fight wasn't. I mean, his fight wasn't only supposed to happen forty minutes ago. So he just. Uh, we were just so far ahead of schedule because of the K, the flash KOs, and we got to do a little bit more for production on the production side as far as explaining things and talking and stuff like that. Try to prolong the. Yeah. The what what I would bit. do is um. Hey, do you guys have an editor for anything? Like, do you uh, record the fights other than Twitch.tv, or nah, do we're you? I'm starting to put put stuff together. We got to get one of these guys in there. Who we got to get somebody who consistently clips things so we can start making highlight reels and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm really good at that. Um, also, have you considered moving the kick? We stream on there too. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, we stream both at the same time. And now I'm trying to click this knockout I got on Code Man. BZ and Dre had me counted out. Well, wait, he got two. Code Man came in and got a fight? Yeah, I filled in because he, he, he didn't miss the fight intentionally. He missed it because we were ahead of schedule, so. Yeah, I gave him a fight. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, me and him fought right after you, you fought Lazy. Yeah, because I was telling Lazy, like, no, nah, man, I'm glad I can make you look good, whatever. I, like, I wasn't really prepared. I just jumped in to say, hey, have at me. But, hey, he didn't knock me out in the first round, man. And I told him to pick his best fighter. So he should have been able to do that. And that was his best fighter. But, you know. Nah, Lazy. He seemed. He, that was a good fight. That was a good, like, little run around. He, he dazed me. Like, I don't know if you 
can look back at that fight, but twice was ghost punches, and that's just the game being yeah. the game. It's yeah. whatever. Yeah, there are I, ghost punches. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna like hate on that or nothing. That's nobody's fault but the game. Okay. But then I was like, what? I mean, it it only gave me one more round before I got my ass knocked out. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, or maybe there... it, we were close on the cards, man. It, we were really close. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the people, you know, fighting in the league. You know, we got good fighters. Um, there are matchup problems and things like that, and, and we're fighting different weight classes for everybody. So some people that may may be better fighters, they feel like they're better fighters, M might not be the best fighter, and they might be great in heavyweight, but they're not good in lightweight. So they're gonna catch L's. Yeah, of course. And BZ, I want to say mad respect for like saying, "Yeah, my boy ass house. I gotta, I gotta pick him for that fight, <laughs> dude. Dude, good shout out." Yeah, yeah. That was, that was legit, man. Yeah, I know the last the last time I seen you fight, yeah, you really had hands. I I know I don't know how often you've been fighting since then. That was almost like a month ago. Yeah, well, I was trying to do right. But then the cheaters got too much, and so I'm just expanding my pool of fighters a little bit. But when it comes to heavyweight, I don't really do that. I do like welter, middle, and light, but mostly like welterweight. Yeah, that's where I started off fighting. I did nothing but welterweight, as pure welterweight weight fighter for a while, and then I moved down to a. Uh... Cause I, the main reason why I started at Walter Wade because I didn't like Roy Jones in uh, ranked because I started off playing the game ranked and I was like Roy Jones is too much, so I went down to Welter and I and I played everything from Welter to Bantamweight, and now that you know I'm getting into more competition play and league play and stuff, uh, I've had to you know expand my roster back up to to middleweight up to heavyweight, uh, which I do. I, I do everything decent, I guess, except for heavyweight. I don't do heavyweight good at all. I like how Lazy still banned my, a dude, even though I, I said, bring your best, and then he's like, no, I'm banning Lewis, and I had already picked my dude. <laughs> I was like, oops. <laughs> but no, it was good. Hey, that fight was actually good, man. I, I was like, counter-punching the fuck out of him. I just put them ghost punches. That drawed me down. Yeah. I was like, fuck. I can't wait till they fix that issue with this game. Man, I can't wait till they fix so much shit. <laughs> it's just a fucking game, period. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things. Shakes the fucking neck pain. Stop having me play people across the fucking water. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. A, that's a yeah. problem. Matches in a row had to play fucking people across the water. I need a fucking match on land. No, that's a huge problem, man. Cause like, me, when me and Sigma fight, we have good fights. Like Sigma can fight, but I, I feel like you know really we good. we get ghost punches, and I'm like, man, I can't, I can't read this guy because I'm dealing with all this lag. So he's shit, kicking my ass. Is desync. Yeah. Anytime you play me right across the water, it's just desync, and I've seen that shit in my punches, but it's whatever, bro. <laughs> Yeah, cause you. Yeah, yeah, that shit happens. That shit happens in season two. I'm gonna ask to be put in the league. We're putting put in the division where I'm not having people to play people across the water. Cause yeah. I, I can't trust my eyes anymore. Nah, that's for sure. Like I, I seen, I seen that in you. Like you had him. He was dead in the first round. I was like, yo, the fight's over with. I seen them all hunched over and shit from all the body punches. And yeah, that probably was just decent, bro. He probably was Two wasn't bro. wasn't yeah. He wasn't standing where where it looked like he was standing. He probably wasn't taking the punches. It looked like he was nah, taking. I was there because I can see, bro. I can tell you this is the easiest way I could tell when I was blocking those little bullshit one twos he was throwing. I couldn't slip it, and I still kept still kept getting hit by that shit. That's decent. No, that shit happened every time I'm trying to block. It. So it is what it is, bro. It's just what's what is the price you pay? You play someone, play someone all across the water with a with a with an early access game. Yeah, it is what it is. But that's just what happened. Yeah, oh. it's just what it is, bro. Unless that connection is above three bars, you are gonna see D think. 
Oh yeah, every time. If you got if you got the bars up there, yeah, just prepare for the full. I even hosted this shit and still got how the fuck I host up. Yeah, still I'll, I'm watching the vod right now. I, I want to see these. I'm, I'll clip. Them. If not, or you can send them to the devs and whatnot. Because you guys are probably close to the devs. <laughs> nah, I mean, I, I, I don't think I don't think any, anybody's close to the devs. I don't think. Yeah. If so, you know, I, I would I would love to be a a part of the the, un, the undisputed uh, dev team. I, you know, some somebody you link me up. <laughs> uh, link me up with a job, man. I'll I'll beta test the fuck out of this. I'll give them ten thousand hours. Let's go. <laughs> Point me in the right direction. I need to check. <laughs> They, they're, they're like, no, 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 little BZ. You're already doing that shit for free. <laughs> Is Lazy an A? Yeah, he's from here. Yeah, yeah, he's from. Yeah. I think his internet is ass though, because he's, he's had a connection issues with a few other people, but you know, that's just my opinion. Yeah, it's hard to tell, you know, if... with this game. Yeah, it just because it could yeah, be the yeah. coast that you're on. You could be, you know, East Coast versus West Coast. He ain't that or whatever. far. He, he over there in Carolina. He ain't that far. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it could be all that. It could be in, yeah, you know yeah. internet speeds like. I've seen some people do goofy shit like they'll be uploading a video in the background while they're playing the game. Like you can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah, you yeah. you fucking up the the lag. They're doing other shit, you know, on their internet, or maybe they're not paying for you know one gig internet. Maybe they only got you know three hundred megabytes. You know, this this like, it's, it's all different types of it, variables. It's still fast as fuck. Yeah, I mean it. It is. I mean, depending on like what, like I said, what you're doing. If you're streaming and fighting and this and that, like. I stream and fight, plus I have, you know, the Discord up, and my kids might be on Xbox, and you know, I got a lot of stuff going on, so I, I pay for one gig internet. And it still sometimes isn't enough. Net code, net code. And it's mostly just this game is broken as fuck, and they just we, need to fix the we, fucking network, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's, I, I, it's I, I can't be. That's the one thing that really bothers me about this game, desync. I can't be sitting here, seeing on my screen that I'm hitting somebody, and the and the numbers tell me something else. Uh -huh. That shit ruins my mood the quickest way, bro. Just fix the fucking net code. There's no reason why I'm fucking taking a 3D fighting game. I can play someone in fucking Paris. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Like, you know, this fucking game is the issue. Mm -hmm. I understand that, you know, Namco Bandai is a fucking AAA studio. I get that. But there's this rollback netcode. It's not that hard to fucking play. Go look the shit up on YouTube. Yeah, it's really, yeah. <laughs> It's not that hard. It's really not, man. Like, Neko, like, there's there's a difference between, like, you know, graphics and getting fighters and this, this, and that, artists or whatever. But Neko, come on, bro. Like, that's that's Netcode, that's bare bro. minimum. That's, that's, a simple, that's bare minimum compared to coding, bro. That's it. It's simple. Yeah. That's bare minimum shit. Like, either you got a guy on your team that can do Netcode or you don't. You don't. Exactly. That's just what it comes down to. Like, like, what is he? What is he doing? Is that guy that does the net code? Is he just kind of like, uh, is he is he pulling a a Lamar Jackson? Like, yo, I need more money. <laughs> I'm not gonna fix the game to y'all. To y'all, give me a cut. You know, like, come on, man. Like, what's going on here? Like, either do do your job or, or we hire somebody else. He gonna start going into the uh, undisputed uh, chats. He gonna start telling people uh, hoop dreams. Tell them that I'm not. <laughs> You gonna start killing the man back for me? Yeah, man. Come on. You gonna tell him we have better things on the horizon? <laughs> you gonna break the game again when he try to fix it? 
keep it broken so they'll keep paying his ass. He's like, nah, I'm going to keep a job. And he fucked up. He going to enable stand switching instead of uh, fixing the netcode. He's going to figure out stand switching <laughs> Fix this fucking god dog. And really, what it is is that hook shit. That shit have never fucking buffed hooks. That was the absolute fucking work. <laughs> the fact that they buffed hooks like that is fucking asinine. If you want me to be completely fucking honest with you, they should have never touched fucking. Why would you buff hooks and and reduce block block uh health? Who the fuck said who the who the fuck thought that shit was okay? I think. I think did the, anybody like did anybody like care to think about that shit when they when they read the patch notes? Yeah, I, I seen it immediately. I was like, oh, this is a plus for me. But uh, I think <laughs> I think the reason the reason why they did it is because they didn't know how to balance out the lead body. They didn't know how to that, balance out the lead body. That shit is not balanced. Lead yeah. body uppercut should not even be in the fucking game. Yeah. They didn't know what to do. From a boxing standpoint, the punch doesn't even make fucking sense. Yes, people throw, but it's not a fucking common punch. People are throwing hooks and fucking jabs and yeah. to the body. Does he get knocked the fuck out if you throw an uppercut to the body in real life? Exactly. I'll tell you. You, yeah. you play, somebody's gonna clean your fucking clock with a hook. Exactly, because you, you, you can. Feel like somebody's gonna clean your fucking clock. You can see the punch coming. Like I see somebody throws one lead body uppercut, I'm like, all right, yeah, here here he goes. He's finna throw the next one. Like I can see it coming, but there's not a button on the fucking controller that that says, Yo, yeah, punch this guy in the face. Exactly. Bro, hold on, I gotta interrupt y'all for a second. I am so disappointed in Bizarre and Dre right now. What you what? So disappointed in you guys. I'm Which is I'm watching my fight right now. Y'all had zero zero <laughs> faith in me. I am by far by far the toughest fight that kid will ever fight in this damn league and y'all had no faith in me at all like, like the the reason why is because you you hadn't been fighting you hadn't been fighting but you know but my brain enough <laughs> my brain he like, says i i am thinking right enough and like I'm not fucking stupid and besides I'm not fighting I've watched so many fucking fights and sit here and pick apart y'all's flaws y'all's, well, y'all's goods y'all's bads and can sit here and tell you how to win a fight and, but I am the underdog I think, in that fight I'm blown away I, I'm blown away where, but, I, but where I fucked there's up there's not even a smidge though there's not even a smidge of of, of Support in my way from you guys. Y'all absolutely wanted me to lose that fight, bro. No, I didn't want you to lose. Where, where, where I fucked up is, like, I, I know, I like every time I see a Canelo fight, I'm like, yo, Canelo should lose every fucking time. Canelo should lose. But I took two things into it. What was that? (laughs) Your skill level would have Jay Surge's skill level would have to be three times, and it was, and it was. To win this fight against and it Canelo. was. Hey, Serge. Serge. It was. <laughs> and you I did it. I'm just la- I'm laughing you. D- at it. it was. <laughs> it that it was clear. Like I just on any production, on any production, I should have got love and praise on my own fucking show. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, baby. From my own. Home. I pick me. Yeah, I pick me. Serge. Up. I felt like I was, I'm watching this. Felt like I was on Savage Boxing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, bro. I would w- check out that clip. Clip I just sent you, man. They pick me up tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Uh, all right. What, what I, what I didn't want to say is I didn't, you know, like if you were listening to that at the beginning of the fight, what I was trying not to do was was go to the back, the back foot conversation. If you, if you oh, seen oh, the yeah. way, if you seen the way I was wording wording my sentences i was like yo you know and you know why i was trying not to go to the back foot conversation because i planned on i planned on back footing the next fight so i didn't want to say it (laughs) i was like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stay in the back foot minus the two like the thing was is like i was picking him apart in so many different ways and all y'all were commenting on was how he was fucking hitting me i'm like and and what i see 
y'all are watching my screen, so y'all were seeing what I was seeing, and I'm picking this dude apart, and I looked, and I'm finna look at the cards, but I whooped his ass on the cards the entire fucking fight, other than those two knockdowns he got on me. Well, this is a, this is another thing. I don't really know code code name like that. I'm just thinking like, I don't. Man, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do for people for the for people that are for people that are picking. <laughs> People that are picking uh, Canelo's, I'm just not. I'm just not gonna root for Canelo fighters because any everybody should know oh, that Canelo can't box in this game. You just you're just not supposed to win. He's a he's a slugger, man. He's not supposed to win. Yeah, and anybody. If you if you take Canelo to a boxer, you're gonna lose every time, and that's exactly what happened. He picked Canelo, and you're a boxer, and he and he lost. <laughs> that boy Slayer thought he, he thought he knew. <laughs> he said, oh. "Man, I, I practiced this matchup. I thought I was gonna win." I'm like, "What the hell are you talking about?" Man, come on! But that—that's what—that was another Canelo, right? Yep. That's what I was saying. Can like anybody that boxes Canelo, you're gonna win. <laughs> Stay on the outside. You're gonna win. And and you can see in the way I was I was saying my words I didn't want to like I said I said something about like uh, the the reason why uh, I'm start I said something like I, I like I'm I'm fifty fifty on um on the uh, on the runner I, he uh sir uh Dre was asking me about the running technique and I said yeah I'm fifty fifty on it and I'm and I'm really coming to like it and. Uh, and the reasoning, the reason why is because of uh, the game, the way the game is built. So I didn't want to spill my hand on my fight, so I couldn't really go into what I thought you were gonna do, sir. So, like I knew, you, I knew you was gonna backfoot it, but I couldn't really just go out there and say it. Right there, coming, in, coming into the predictive card, J or uh, uh, fucking Dre. I, I expect it to be 3 0 code man right here. He's just bizarre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then uh, read, into, read into oh, my oh, words. Jay only down by one point. Re read <laughs> it. Yeah, because I've been whooping this dude's ass. Re read into my words. <laughs> read into how I, how I said something, but I didn't really say anything. And, uh, and what I would have appreciated was y'all y'all are not seeing the fight that that J, J Surge is presenting here. He's a very smart fighter. He's picking the guy apart, frustrating the shit out of Canelo. I started to pick away at his body. And you heard me say that. On. You heard me say that once you got I, on the I, back foot. Once you got on the back foot, I said, "Oh, I can see the body language of Canelo. He's you know he's yeah. uh he's in trouble." Like I I I I, I didn't say. What was on my mind because I knew it was gonna give away my fight, <laughs> so I couldn't say it. There's so much tape on me. If I had said anything about the back foot, he would have been like, "Oh yeah, BZ's not gonna get in the phone booth." If I had said anything about it, he'd have been like, oh, yeah, he's not going to get in there. Because what happened? The first thing that happened when I got in the phone booth, I got KO'd in the second round. And I was like, yep, I'm not doing that shit no more. But even what I was like, like I get on the back foot, but then I stop. I stop and, and throw a combo, then I'll get back out again. And even when I would do that, it was just like I would piece him apart. I landed a nasty power combo that I expected you guys to be like, dang, because I threw his head back. Oh man, I, I didn't even see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I wasn't even like I already knew what was gonna happen. Like I said, I couldn't say what I, how I really felt. Man, I'm more upset with my boy Dre, bro. To be honest with you, I know you don't like my fight style, but my boy Dre should have my back tenfold. <laughs> like, I couldn't, I couldn't say it, man. I couldn't, I couldn't. But I get, it. I'm cocky as a motherfucker with it, bro. I'll, I'll tell you every day. I can pick this fucking game up any day, no matter how long I take it off and still compete. I may not always win or fight, but I'm gonna give you a hell of a fucking fight regardless. And uh, now after after watching this and hearing y'all, like anytime I take a fight, y'all might y'all better ban Hatton because that's where I'm going. <laughs> that's where you're going. You pick. I don't care what you pick. I'm gonna choose the guy everybody expects me. That's why I used Hatton to begin with on ranked was because everybody expects you to fucking you know be shit, and not not be able to perform with him. But I, I fucking it. I put Hatton on the map in this game. It definitely what makes you um. 
If you're. Did you see that nasty knockout I got on him? I gotta clip that motherfucker too. That knockdown I got on and him. And I, I, I mean, what I a, saw a two punch is, is you counter, you counter punched the fuck out of him, and there was no coming back. I seen him get frustrated, uh, trying to walk you down. And at that point, when I when I talked about his body language, he was done. He was cooked. You know how I know because I've been there. I could tell he didn't want to push forward anymore. He didn't want. Yeah, he was mentally fucked. He didn't want to deal with the counters. His head was fucked up. His head was on red. I was like, man, he's mentally done. But I couldn't say anything. Bro, y'all got about this time, Easy said Canelo's face red as fuck too. I think he started hurting. And then by that time, I two-pieced him and put him down on the ground. I mean, I seen that shit coming a mile away. I just could, I couldn't give away myself. That's what I that's what I was mostly guarding. I was guarding myself. You was winning. <laughs> you was gonna get the dub anyways. I need to get my dub. That was so nasty. Yeah, yeah, uh next. Absolutely. That uppercut um is is super risky, bro, and shouldn't it really shouldn't be in the game. Jason's got an open shot. Gotta open it back up. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, 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 really for honestly, you know, I said it the, you know, I said it the wrong way. Honestly, like the for Canelo to win in any fighter versus an out a out boxer, the Canelo has to be three times three times as good because anytime you get on you get on the back foot canelo is dead in the water he can't take it he can't take it and you gotta you have to basically win the beginning of every single round in order to to win as a can like you you got to be great you got to be absolutely you know fantastic to to make somebody chase a canelo he does three times the damage so yeah, but but he's gonna lose on the he's gonna lose on the scorecard every time because he's gonna he's too slow. He doesn't have any any feet work. Uh, Without being able to spam him. Yeah, he has no footwork and he's just he's cooked. Bro, you land one good uppercut with Canelo. Shit. And you would be a fool to to eat it. You'd be a fool to eat a to well, eat an uh, uppercut but from if Canelo. They're good. But now nah, I, I sent you guys uh, clips of that ghost punch. I was pissed at that because I was like, "Man, I'm trying to fight this dude, and like I get hit by the air. Like he <laughs> sneezed on me, and I'm <laughs> dazed." Yeah, man, it's trust me. I've had I've had my I've had my fair share of of getting ate up by ghost punches, and I just say I just say it's fair, man. If it's if you're if ghost punches are happening on your screen, it's happening on the other guy's screen, and it's it, well, it's fifty fifty. I think it has to do with the uh, the range of the puncher too. Um, you know what Hatton has that a lot of people uh, let slide under the belt that don't really realize he has a nasty left hook to the body. Yeah. Yeah, the liver punch. Yeah. Well, it's I'm just saying, but the damaging. animation, the way he throws it, and it's the speed fast of it, as fuck. It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's almost it's like one of the, the best the in the game. Uppercut. Yeah, and uh, I started to get the feel of that again. And if you could match that left body uh, hook with a step in, a step into right hook to the head, uh, it, it it's devastating. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's why Hatton's a, well. a good fighter. I don't yeah. I like if you if you use Hatton the correct way. He's definitely uh, you could you could argue that he's a a ninety tier a ninety overall boxer if you use him the correct way. Yeah. You could you yeah. could you could argue that he's he gets cut easy though. He's better than he's ba basically yeah. better than Canelo if and it has to do with your skill level. the The biggest knock on Haddon is he can't heal in between rounds like the other 90 fighters. That's the biggest problem. So if you're fighting good and you can fight and not and not get beat on, if you could fight, you know, back foot and and, and block a whole lot of shots, then Haddon is a, is a, a 90 fighter overall all day. The problem is is that when once you go to the corner, 
especially when we're talking you know like online rank when you're talking about one uh one x damage one x stamina he's gonna get outclassed by the by the rounds the rounds are shorter the other fighter is gonna heal multiple times and Haddon isn't and he just can't keep up with the heal factor that's the problem <laughs> wait what get it <laughs> everybody gets plus four <laughs> sorry <laughs> my wife gut checked me uh <laughs> It, it, you can't get plus four plus four with him yeah it's it's plus four but there's there like there's a percentage and then there's a percentage like if you look at the stats he's gonna get plus four of the stats allotted to him which is not the same plus four as the stats allotted to sugar ray robinson or canelo they're gonna they're gonna heal more they're gonna stay more healthy than Ricky Hatton is. Okay, so it's an actual percentage. Like their stamina is like a thousand, and his stamina is like maybe nine eighty. Or I guess I guess I the you. best. Yeah, I guess that's the best way to put it. Like if you're looking at the stamina bar, yeah, it's the same length, but there's a number inside of that. That's the number that you're looking at when you when you choose your fighter. It says yo eighty two overall on stamina. Well, even though the bar is the same length. There's there's 82 percent. Think of it like ice ice being in a I cup never of soda. About that. Yeah, like it starts off full, but there's there's not enough drink in it. You know what I'm saying? Like if there's ice in the cup and then there's uh, there's no ice in Sugar Ray's cup. It's all soda, but there's some ice in uh, Ricky Haddon's cup. As soon as you hit it, as soon as you take a swig, it's gonna you know it's gonna empty faster. It, even though both Americans cups are full. will use anything to fucking. It, like measure and fucking it, other than just numbers like imagine there's ice in the cut dude imagine there's only like it, his stamina is 980 and imagine the other dudes is a thousand like don't Whoa. fuck it, it ice in the cup what yeah the fuck yeah ice in the cup because if because if you change because if you change the numbers you see you that's about three wells long if you change the numbers, if I if I were to tell you that Ricky uh that Sugar Ray Robinson's was was a thousand and Ricky's was nine hundred and fifty, you might think that the bar length is different or something. You might think that like like I don't know something something else is going on. So that's the that was me trying to you know uh, give you a visual of what's actually going on if you drink you, no, everybody I, I drinks I I'm just <laughs> yeah. yeah everybody drinks soda so you you would know yeah not everybody does I'm like basic the, math, I got the only round i lost is the one he knocked me down he knocked me down twice in that one round that was a 10 7 round everything else i 10 9 10 9 10 8 well that's because you're bad you're bad and you got knocked down twice like it happens <laughs> I'm just fucking with it. Come on, man. At the at the beginning, <laughs> he's like, I said it at the beginning. Hadn't shouldn't win by knockout. <laughs> he, yo, you sh man, you know damn well you shouldn't have won by knockout. Hold hold on, nah nah nah. Come on now, come on, bro. But I knocked him down twice. Well, I knocked him down once, and then I flashed KO. If so, I mean, if his probability. if his skill level was equal that to was yours, round four. if you were fighting yourself. And and you were Canelo, and you were also Ricky Haddon. You would not get knocked out. That that should not happen. But then again, okay. Canelo's Canelo's like that fight is so lopsided. Canelo shouldn't win the fight, but he also shouldn't lose the fight like that neither. Yeah, that's where we differ in in commentating aspect of it. You you discuss it more on the game level of it, like. Canelo versus Hatton, Hatton versus you know, as far as the fighter aspect of it, and I look, I try to paint the picture of the guy with the controller in his hand. So, I'm I'm putting emphasis on your skill versus the other guy's skill and blah blah blah, blah that uh, and that nature of it. I try to take the game element out of it and try to create the immersion of a realistic, simulated, uh, you know. But yeah, those two, th th those life. two things, I will yeah. say, those two things mesh. They yeah, they mesh good. 100%. Yeah, I like that. But it, but when it's got him and Dre on there both, they kind of have that same kind of thing. I bring that that storytelling vibe to it. So when I'm listening to them, just kind of you got no. both of them. 
bro, the game level. Though. That fight was not supposed to happen, and you put me in the worst position possible for you to go out and do the exact thing I was finna do in in the in the next in the next fight. You put me in the worst position possible. <laughs> I mean, okay. To be honest though, I expected to hear you be like, "Well, we know what Jay Surge is gonna do. He's gonna get on the bicycle." Nah, man, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna do you like that. And then, and then I would have had to have. You know, then I would have had to explain myself <laughs> when I put out my you own never, bicycle wheel. Yeah, you never do that with commentary. You never have to it, it retrace your steps. It's better to just yeah go forward. Uh, I used to. Just throwing that out there, I used to commentate a lot of League of Legends match that I would put on. Like, I had my own little thing, like what you guys are doing, but I, I left League of Legends uninstalled this year, and I'm done with that game. Right, right. But uh, now, as far as commentating, I'm actually pretty decent at it, man. Shit, well, I mean, if you, if you, you know, maybe uh, Surge, you know, use you on, on the on a Tuesday with the ladies, you know, fill you out uh, with the ladies' fights whenever they do that, and uh, you know, maybe you know you could be in there or something. You know, I'm not, I'm not always commentating. A lot of times, I'll show up, you know, halfway depending on where I am in the fight card. I won't commentate till after uh, my fight, but today um, I was the last fight, so I pretty much was free the entire fight. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I get it. I'm just, yeah, lady, I mean, work your way up in the community. I got it. But yeah, you guys uh, seem like a solid fucking group of people, man, and I like what you're putting on, and I'm digging it. I mean, we, um, I mean, uh, definitely talk. <laughs> Jay Surge and King Dre is running it, you know what I'm saying? Talk, definitely talk <laughs> to them. You know what I mean? Me, I who's feel. Your guys's, who's your guys' biggest uh, competition right now, you think? Like, what, what discords are doing the same thing that you're a part of? Oh, the biggest competition is is the redheaded stepchild. That's a uh, that's Savage Boxing League. And uh, okay. as much as much as um, they would they would like me to fight over there, and they want me to fight on parsecs. This is this and that. Um, uh, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm not gonna. I don't like the way their their setup is. Uh, What's wrong with it, in your opinion? Well, they they use just, I mean, they use I'm parsecs. Just asking. They use they use parsecs, and then I also don't like the way they do their fighter picks. Um, it's something about like the the way they 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 try to like right, match so. up fighter picks or something like that. I don't like that. And uh, my buddy Jay Surge told me here. Uh, Wait, they have their own ranking system, is what you're telling me. They. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're asking me right there. I mean that that's okay. Like they have their own ranking system to where they're like, this dude's won this many fights, so we're gonna have him. Comp it, like you guys seem to have your own ranking. Yeah, everybody's system. doing it different. Yeah, yeah, we have our own thing. They have their own thing. It's it's not the same for sure. All right, so so how you guys got your setup? It's just like. Well, they have something along the lines of like it's it's theirs is a little bit confusing something along the lines of like like a fantasy football type thing where like they're picking like you know uh, 90 tier fighters this week and next week they'll do you know c tier fighters and and then they got points like if you win by ko or whatever your fighter level is they got some other like other things going on behind the scenes where we have a more traditional Elo uh, system, yeah, yeah like I got it. Ours is just like yeah, we're like, fighting in like a division. Chip. Yeah, we're fighting. Yeah. It's like football. We're in a division. We fight each other. You fight. You have some out of division fights. We go to a playoff. Somebody wins a Super Bowl. Have you thought about this, like um, letting fighters fight in their weight class? What? Or do you not have enough? like normally? I don't know. Do when you guys sign up, like I don't even know how to sign up for your guys' fights and whatnot. Like I haven't got that far yet, but I'm asking like, so if somebody's really good at welterweight or really good at heavyweight, you let them sign up for that fight, right? No, we nah. You you definitely want to go read the rules. I think you're you're a little. You're you're a little bit far behind on on. Okay, uh, the I haven't read the rules. <laughs> yeah, I, I admit yeah. that. Yeah, but you gotta I mean, read since, the rules. Since I'm in here with you, big dog, like, 
All right, let me let yeah, let me give you let me give you like the the quick the quick uh the quick rundown. Okay, so this is set up more think of an NFL format as there's, you know, uh uh NFC East, NFC West, uh you know, uh South North, all right? So there's four okay. there's there's four conferences. We got four fighters in each conference. The com- the com- the conferences are the divisions. Inside of the division you f- there's four people so there's three other guys that you fight two times inside of your division if you okay. fight uh you'll fight outside of your division i forgot how many fights are outside of the division um so inside of the division uh if you're fighting if you're fighting a fighter inside of the division you're going to fight one time as heavyweight one time as a uh, middleweight okay so you have two different uh, chances to fight the person that's in your division uh, at two different weight classes. So you know you might you might be great at heavyweight, you might be great at middleweight, or you might suck gotcha. at both of them. Uh, so that's in the division. Anytime you fight outside of the division, you fight featherweight. Okay, so all the fights matter. There's 12 fights in the season. Uh, you need to be good at all three weight classes or you're in trouble you know you're you're gonna start dropping fights that maybe you, sh- you shouldn't drop or you didn't want to drop you, you like i'm bad at heavyweight i could have easily lost a heavyweight fight to um to uh say uh hybrid wayne hold on one second it's my wife calling All right, I'm going to go ahead and direct myself towards the rules while he's explaining them. But no, so far it seems like a solid ELO system. Like, I'm used to, like, chess, you know, where it's like... But that's one-on-one shit, too. But if you got four divisions, and then divisions inside divisions, I'll have to look at it. Yeah, so no, it's, you know... All right, so there's how do you I forgot how you put it. There's a uh like in basketball, there's a, a east versus the west. All right? And then you have the divisions inside of that. It's east versus west. So uh if you're if you're on the if you're in the east um you're going to play um you know how do you put it? Damn, let me look at this damn thing because it's easier for me to look at it. Well, anyways, if you're in the East, there's going to be, what, what is it? I think there's two di- two different divisions in the East, and there's two different divisions in the West. All right, so there's four divisions total, but, you know, there's a left and the right side, red versus blue. Yeah, no, I, I get all that. Like, trust me, I get all that. Um, So... How many people do you have? All the divisions full right now, full of fighters, or? Yeah, they well, they were full except we had one dude. I think a uh, raccoon, something, somebody named Raccoon or whatever. He decided to act the idiot, and uh, he's he's no longer in the league. So we gotta fill his spot. I see a spot called applications to so fill application. Uh, yeah, you have, have to. I hadn't done all that because i was at the beginning of mbk you'll have to talk to j surge if there's any confusion but yeah, i'll do it you i'll wanna, do it, I'll do it. Just see the one thing you want to do trouble. is select you want to be a fighter not a fan if there's a whenever you're doing the application there'll be a spot where oh we dudes ko'd there'll be a situation where it says choose the choose your role fighter or fan or something else pick mbk fighter do you want to become a content creator? See, like, okay, I wouldn't necessarily stream. I know how to, like, work OBS and do all that shit, but, like, as far as commentary, I'd be willing to fill in. So I think content creator would be under that, so I'm going to submit yes on that. Well, there's no answer question. Oh, okay, yes, commentator. Uh, 
Okay, so there's the conference things that I was telling you about. So there's three different weight class. Yo, what's up, uh, Lie? I don't even know how to say that. Lieto, I think I said it right. Um, there's th there's the two different sides, you know, east and west. Four different uh divisions. On two on each side. So basically, you know, when you're fighting inside of your division, heavyweight and middleweight. When you fight outside of your division, basically that means if blue side is fighting red side, that's outside of your division. Really, it's not. It's even if you're, like I said, there's two divisions inside of each, each conference. So there's only three guys in your division. If you're fighting anybody that's not those three guys, it's going to be a lightweight fight. Um, from there... Uh, we'll uh, we'll go into a playoff setting at the at the end of twelve weeks. I believe it's uh, I don't even I don't even know what it is. It's I think it's going to be like the top couple of guys from. It's not going to be from the division, but it's going to be from uh, the conference. So it's going to be from red red versus blue, like the top I think four guys from the west and the top four guys from the east. Uh, I could be wrong. I have to go over the rules again myself. Uh, and then, well, when I say it, it'll be the it'll be the top four guys in the in the in the West and the top four guys in the East. But I don't believe that they'll fight each other because you know, like in division or tournament play, you have to stay on your side of the bracket. So uh, if you're on the if you're on the West side, you're gonna fight the top four fighters in the west and the best the best player that comes out the west fights the best player that comes out of the east that's how like a basketball bracket would go and a football bracket as well um like the lakers are in the west they're not gonna they're not gonna play they're they're in the playoffs they're not gonna play anybody from the east unless well, they're not going to play the East at all unless they make the the finals, the NBA finals, and and then at the NBA finals, it's the best the best team out of the West versus the best team out of the East. So you have to beat up on your own division to to see who the best is, and then uh, obviously the uh, like the co-main event. The co-main event is basically like uh, that's the. Um, the best of the West, you know what I'm saying? That's the uh, the Western the Western Conference Finals in the tournament. Uh, lingo would be the best of the West, and in a uh, and and then you would you would do the same thing on the East. So there would be two. There would be two uh, co-main events, which would be the East and the West. The best the best two players fight each other. In the conference final, and then they represent the East, and the other two in the West fight each other. They represent the West, and then you have your your NBA Finals or your Super Bowl. So it's a lot of you got you have to be dominant inside of your conference. That's the main thing is you have to be dominant inside your conference. If you're losing to the people inside of your conference, you will never make it to the finals or the Super Bowl. Yeah, no, I it I love it. I love it. Like it, it makes complete sense to me, man. Like yeah. it's very, very simple to understand. But uh, like I'm saying, it, well, I'm filling out an application for whatever right now. But uh, it looks like you got two applications for. Oh no, they're just linked twice. Okay. But yeah, no. Um, I just want to get in a conference. So whatever I got to do to do that, and uh, fight with y'all. Cause it, I like sparring with y'all. Even if I get knocked out, it's like I'm learning something. You know what I mean? I'm learning. Oh, oh I need to dodge that. <laughs> yeah, there's always a place to learn. Um, I'm learning. I put so many hours in this game, and I'm learning every single day. I learned something in that fight with Hybrid Wayne tonight. Like I'm learning every single day. Um. So let me go here. If if you uh, I'm in the Discord, so I'm gonna go ahead and close my game out. I gotta copy my Twitch channel. I don't have a TikTok, but I used to. Got banned off that bitch. You know what I said to get banned? What's that? Uh, if it's a bad word, you probably yeah, I'm just shouldn't sit, say I'm it. I'm just sitting here. Go I'm ahead. just sitting here smoking a cigarette. Oh, okay, okay. Boom, got banned. 
Cigarette is a banned word on Twitch, by the way. Just so, if, in case you uh, ever stream on that app. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on Twitch. <laughs> I uh, quickly, quickly go on the pool, BZ. Go on the pool, right now. Not Twitch, TikTok, TikTok. Oh, I was like, BZ right now. Cancel and BZ. Bazaar's over like, yeah, yeah, I'm on Twitch. Yeah. That's why I was like, wait a second. If it's a bad word, don't say it. I'm alive. No, Twitch is, you can say cigarette or blunt or weed all you want. It ain't like that. Yeah, they're liberals. Load it. <laughs> they don't care. So it, it, well, TikTok is neither liberal or Republican, but it's Chinese. I was talking about well, Twitch. Okay. Yeah, Twitch is uh, well, I wouldn't call it liberal, but yeah, 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 no, actually, I would, I would, I would. I would. They are, they are, they are. You're right. <laughs> so what you need to do, Ice House? Is you need to uh, once you're inside of the Discord, you need to go down to the tab that says League Schedule. All right, and, got you. And that will help oh, yeah, you. That will help you understand the most. You can see exactly what fights are gonna happen. Everything's already pre-planned. All the fights. You see the conference A and B. You see the divisions uh, A through D. And. Uh, and then you can read up on some of the rules or whatnot to know exactly uh, how that's going to play out based off of this. So I've already lost two fights. The best record I could come up with by the end of the season at this point is 10-2. Ten, ten uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah. The season is going to end on a Sunday because we started on a Sunday. So, um, to Holy shit, where do you guys got the league schedule at? It's it's on if you're watching my Twitch, it's on my Twitch right now. And if you're in the uh, the Discord, you go to um, the tab that says League Schedule, and you can see the whole layout. Oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Oh, so. Yeah, but there's like League Chat, League Rules. Okay, Band Fighters. See, let me read all this shit because that's a lot to take in and remember. It, it is a lot to take in. You're gonna have to. You'll get used to it if you're in the league and you watch it every Thursday and Sunday you will get that's the main reason why we did this format like this is because you're going to see the same fighters with the same rules and they got the same thing on the line for you know uh, six weeks uh, so this is easy to understand if you follow nfl or you follow nba if you watch one one season of football you'll be like oh, okay i get it wild card round you know this, i'm from this, north that. carolina dude march madness is like god tier every year all right, so that's I mean that's basically we got a bracket like that, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's yeah. gonna be a playoffs. There's gonna be a, a sweet sixteen. <laughs> okay, well I, no, I get it. I, I'm looking at the chart you got and everything, but um, so compared to who you said you didn't like doing it, the way they were doing it, like yeah, so uh, yeah, compared to uh to Savage Boxing, there is this they they don't have a uh they don't. They're not a league technically. They're just uh well, I guess Go they I guess bitches. I guess they are a league. They do they have a format that's more that of a fantasy football or fantasy basketball format where you could accumulate points by the way that you win. If you win by knockout, if you win with a lower rated fighter, if you, you know, do this this and that and that that will That's like cool. put you up on some type of leaderboard to make you the best fighter or whatnot. They're not going strictly off of wins and losses. Right. But they do matter. So their ELO system is just a little bit. Yeah, the wins and losses do matter, but how you win and lose matters even more because like if you knock somebody out in the first round or you know or if you knock them out three times or it's a flash ko they got this different point system going on uh, yeah i don't like that with the what the the game state like once it's polished and stuff that sounds good but I, getting flash ko'd out of from the other side of the ring sometimes kind of it's like uh, oh you got I, I don't I don't like it at all. I, I personally just like it to just be straight up wins and losses, and we're um, we're supposedly trying to implement a f 
a fantasy uh, boxing league for the fans. So at the at the beginning of the next season, you can you know pick pick your fighters or your divisions or whatever, and we'll do this point point based thing. You could build your own bracket, basically you know like March Madness, and you can you can win some money at the at the end of it if you pick the right fighters to. Yeah, I mean I play fantasy football every year. I I got you. Yeah. Um, so. So we're going to be fi- like we're going to have a league and the- we're going to be playing the game, but the people that are watching are also playing the game fantasy style. Yeah, and our our league I won't mean, be fantasy style. I'm just going to vote for you, BZ. You're just <laughs> that's why you want it. Everybody's going to put their they're going to be like, who do I get? I'm going to pick BZ first. He's I, number uh, one. I don't I don't know about all that. Like I mean, at this point, you know, Slayer's a good pick too. You know, I guess it depends on how how many you know points you have or how many boxers you could pick or uh, how how the points come out. You know, like I I I don't know what the uh, what the setup will be. You know, fantasy football can get very uh, football or basketball, boxing, whatever. It can get very intricate with you know the person you pick are they winning by knockouts are they winning a whole bunch of rounds you know this this like it could are be your um things. are your uh matches what dates are they on thursday and sunday thursday sunday okay well none of you go to church you heathens um <laughs> never mind uh <clears throat> so it starts after church by the way but you would have to be like speeding home yeah, but what if you go during the day and night? Then you're screwed. I got kids, kids to take care of. Man. You're a holy roller. You're screwed. You. It's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. I'm just playing with no, you, I'm man. Just, no. Just, yeah, we, no, no, no. I'm just playing. We accommodate that. We have some fighters that fight two fights on Thursday if they can't fight on Sunday. No, no, no. You're good. I was just messing with you. But, um, okay, so, like, your next fight coming up is in what weight class? Um, so if you're looking at the the schedule, um, we just yeah. Fit- but I, for some reason it's like blurry as hell. How do I make it bigger? Um, click on it, it'll open up. In yeah, a yeah. If you or... click on it. Oh, okay. The link. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, we so basically Thursday was the is the end of week oh, two. Yeah, so we're going into week three now. So under week three, it has. BZR versus Julian from Kingdom, and he is not in my division, so it will be a featherweight fight. Bro, how are you reading that? I got it on my 1440p monitor, and I can't read that shit. Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh, just I'm just looking at it, reading. It. I guess I know all the fighters' names. I know my name. Oh, you didn't send me a link. You, you sent me a. Uh screenshot or something of it yeah just click on this, the picture of it and then it'll come up a little bit bigger and then there's a little link underneath that it says open in browser yeah it should magnify you're fucking amazing dude yeah so now you can see sorry it i didn't see that yeah 1440p style so yeah my next fight will be uh bzr versus julian featherweight and you could see you can see like this this thing is this format Whoever did it, whether it was J Surge or King J, they did a fabulous job, man. You can see everything that you need to know. Uh, you read it, obviously. Okay, I got you. So, so you I've guys got, are. I've, in... got a, I've got a better one. I'm fixing. A, I'm gonna upload right now that we've been working on. That's awesome. You got a. Uh... All right. What week are you guys in? Week six. No. Or week seven. No, it's no, we're, week. We're, we're going into week three now. Yeah, week three on Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday okay. begins okay. a new week every time. Some people fight two times on Sunday. Some people fight two times on Thursday. But the week doesn't end until after all the fights Thursday night. The week is over with. The new week starts on Sunday. So you might see a fighter. And why I'm saying it like that is you might see a fighter fight two times on Sundays. And his record is going to be longer than somebody that didn't fight at all on Sunday. And you got to wait till Thursday to get the standings. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, all right, so I'm looking at. It doesn't. Oh, featherweight. Okay, you guys do. All right, so featherweight, you had to fight there. So, you guys are in week two, you said. Week three on Sunday. 
coming Sunday. Yes. Yeah. But this fight tonight isn't on here, right? These are only Sunday's fights. No, we had. Where am I looking for Thursday? So they're oh, okay. Thir yeah, they're this vertical. is week three. The, the, the fights tonight were week three Thursday. No, right, week right. two Thursday. Okay. Week two Thursday. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, so they're vertical. The columns are vertical. The weeks are from top to bottom, and you you know you read it left to right, top to bottom. So, so we, you, you fight featherweight twice. If you're in division. Yeah, I'm fight. If you're in your division. Yeah, so I'm fighting featherweight because I'm fighting out of division. Anytime. Okay. So if you look at the top of there, it says BZR. My division is. Uh, Zayad, good old Greg, and Slayer. Anytime I see Zayad, good old Greg, or Slayer, I have to fight either heavyweight or middleweight, depending if I've already fought heavyweight or middleweight. If I fight anybody else, it's going to be a featherweight fight because it's outside of division. Yeah, I dig it. And which but, one of these guys fell out of their division, you said? But uh, I got to get going for now. It's, my night's over with, so I'll holler at you tomorrow, man, if you want to talk about it some more. Yeah, no, for sure. All right. I'm going to find somebody to raid real quick. Smoking Joe? No. Dolphin Lechon. I'm redoing the standings right now. Um, rankings. Here, I'll pull the VOD up. Uh, it's going to be all the way from last week. Oh, never mind then. Well, I, I can still do it. <clears throat> if you remember the date. Question. Do you have like a Google spreadsheet set up for all this stuff? or? It's all set up in Discord. So there's a there's a under all those things you click on there's fight results that have all the results from the previous fights. So Joe from the John lost. Alright, we raiding Raw Deezy. I'm headed I'm headed to bed. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you.